Hang on, hang on. My Spotify, my Spotify is not working. I might cry about it, I'm not gonna lie. Give it a second, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I have to force quit it. Anyway, hi everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Sorry to, to be the one to, to break this to you. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but The Sims 4 has threatened us with another kit today. <laughs> um, so I was gonna play Mario Party today, but um, then we got a Sims announcement. So here we are. <laughs> um, I think I want to do a build though. Um, but it's kind of cool. They announced another fashion kit. Um, it's called the Modern Menswear Kit. I made a video about it so you can watch it to learn more about it. But it's supposed to come out in like two weeks. Um, clothes. It's actually got skirts in it for men, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's a it's actually a brand collab um, with like a high end small fashion brand. It's kind of interesting. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when it comes out. I have high hopes. Um, I just, I'm still unsure about kits at all, you know? Um, why does that mean I can't play Mario Kart? Well, Bestie, I wasn't ever gonna play Mario Kart. Um, Mario Kart and Mario Party are different. Um, it means that I want to play Sims. I think what you're forgetting is that I, I want to play The Sims. <laughs> it's not that I can't play a different game. It's that I want <laughs> to play this game. <laughs> um, but anyway, the change of plans because of the because of the announcement because I was feeling all simmy. So um, anyway, that's my plan. Feeling all simmy, I said. <laughs> all right, we're gonna build a new house for the Potts family, though. I think today, um, which should be fun. Um, it should be fun. <laughs> Yeah, biking, that's the thing. I like- I'm with you on that. I like all the things in the kit. I've seen some people say they don't like the stuff in the kit, um, which is fine. But I like the stuff in the kit. I think it looks really cool. I like the cutouts and the sweaters. Like, I think that the kit has some cool stuff. I just don't like kits. This- this keeps happening. I keep making videos being like, I love plants, but kits, you know? <laughs> like, the fact that we literally had a kit last week. A week ago? And now again? Like, it's too much. It's too much. Um, but, anyway. Whatever. No, we didn't build a new house for the pots, and we were gonna build this house on Thursday, but then I decided I wanted to play Sims today, because there was a kid announcement and I was feeling simmy. Um, but, anyway. Calm down with the plans changing. There was a big announcement today! <laughs> I'm allowed to play Sims! <laughs> This is the first- this is the- the first time people are like, why are you playing The Sims? <laughs> Usually my chat's like, where is The Sims? Give me The Sims! And now the regulars are like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's quite funny. I actually kind of like this. It's a fun change of pace, you know? <laughs> For the first time, people are saying, why are you doing this? <laughs> I like it. Anyway, Smax, thank you for the for the resub. Uh, Georgie, Anna, Serendipity, Kat, Sophia, Olive, Jules, Shoopy, Sims, Brianna, Perry, Olive, Maid, Arthur, Kylo, oh no. Avery, all she says, Kuji, Aquarius, Pepper, Jax, Miss Whitehead, Faith, Bloopy, Aaron, Jay, Jacqueline, Sid, oh, Oral, AJ, Bunny, Shannon, Gates, Mystic, Kira, Little Tika, Dakota, Jen, Irene, thank you, thank you all for the subs um, and, and bits and stuff, everyone. I really appreciate that. Um, why does it have to be raining? <laughs> That is- that is my first problem, actually. Hang on. Change weather. How about we make it sunny for the next, like, ten hours, okay? I would really appreciate that if you would stop raining. I don't want to have to cheat the weather, but, like, besties, you know? You gotta give me something more to work with here. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, I'm excited because we're gonna build a new house for the Potts family. We actually have loads of money. Um, the house is worth, like, 12,000 simoleons itself. And then we have, like, an addition- I mean, wait, no, sorry. The house is worth, like, 100,000 simoleons itself, and then we have 12,000 simoleons. The house is worth more than 12,000. <laughs> the house actually, believe it or not, is worth more than 12,000. <laughs> sorry about that. Um... <laughs> Nix, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. 
Ella, Josie, Wolf, um, Andy's, Juliet, Moon, Hatter, T, Goldie, Zach, Orly, Grace, thank you all for the subs and stuff too. This is the biggest starter home ever, you're right. Um, I'm gonna quickly go through and make sure I, um, well, one, those avocados are worth a lot. Oh my goodness. Well, number one, I want to make sure we sell, um, some of the extra things that we don't need here out of our, um, inventory, because I'm bored of it, and I, I want to make sure we can put all the necessities away. Like, for example, this guy has to stay. This guy has to stay. The rat, gotta stay. These, gotta stay. The money bag, this thing, the fancier computer, the painting. You know, we want to make sure we keep all the important stuff if we're gonna delete the house, you know? Um, have I finished the Animal Crossing DLC? Oh my goodness, no. Not even remotely. <laughs> Not at all have I finished the Animal Crossing DLC. Um, that's gonna be a while. <laughs> I need my future cube. Painting. Another computer. This thing. Um, I don't think there's really an end to the DLC. I think they mean more like, um, I guess once you've unlocked everything, maybe they could be talking about that. Um, but no, I haven't like done that. I'm, I'm trying to take it slow so that I can enjoy playing it for a long time, so. Um, that's my theory. That's my plan, at least. All right, make sure you keep the, uh, dead cow plants, Simsy. <laughs> Would hate to lose those. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna put the graves in my yard or in my inventory, because I'm gonna, um... Oh, wait. Let me... Save at... Wait, wait, wait. Let me save as, so we can keep the new house. New pots, 1116. Okay. Um, no, well, it's not, you don't really need to start over once you finish the DLC. I think that them saying finish the DLC in Animal Crossing has confused you. Cause you don't, it's not like you can't play it anymore. Cause you can just keep building houses for people. Um, you don't, like, you can build them on top of other people's houses. Like, you can put the same person on the same lot more than once and stuff, so. Um, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> I assure you, the Animal Crossing DLC is not gonna end anytime soon. Um, okay, as far as other things to get rid of, I, I'm just gonna get rid of everything else. Now, our new heir is an evil hacker. So, as I'm beginning to delete stuff here, we'll have to be thinking about, you know, if you were an evil hacker, what would you want your house to look like? You know? Um, these are the important questions that we must answer. Oh, I'd like to keep that, please. Um, what, what, what would your evil hacker look like? Um... I, I don't know if I want to go for a modern looking house. I guess we maybe could. Um, but it'll be fun, nonetheless. A layer? We can give them a layer, like a, a scary basement and layer. Is that what you're thinking? Ah! My cow plant glitched again. It's fine, that one was dead and then it glitched back alive, so. I hate modern houses. I can't build them. Do you want me to have a bad day? Oh my god, someone said Disney Castle. Did you guys see Minecraft is gonna have Disney DLC? I think it came out today. Minecraft made, like, official DLC of Magic Kingdom. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I just saw- Little Dika sent me the trailer, to be honest with you. I'm- I'm very confused by this. Truly, I- I don't understand. Um, it feels very like, wh what? <laughs> like, out of nowhere. The other thing is that I think one of the most popular Minecraft things, at least in my mind, because I've seen so many videos on it, some, some people made a custom Minecraft map of Magic Kingdom, and it's like really popular and really well done. And then for Minecraft to come in and be like, I did it too, and now I'm gonna make you pay for it. Like, <laughs> they closed it though, oh, was it closed? Oh, interesting. What if they got- oh my god, what if Minecraft and Disney ceased and desisted them and made them close it? I don't know anything about this. 
So I, I, this is just guessing. I shouldn't talk about it. But what if that's why they closed it? What if Disney said die? And then they had to close it. Anyway, it's very interesting. I look forward to hearing more about it. It might not, that might not have been what happened. It could have been nothing, it could be nothing. But it's interesting that Disney made an official one and then the previous one disappeared. But maybe, maybe nothing happened. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'm not a Minecrafter. <laughs> this is pure speculation. Um, but what if Disney said die? The mouse is evil. The mouse just snaps his fingers and then you gotta do what he says. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Disney snapped their fingers and said, get rid of it. So, it's interesting. <laughs> Ren, uh, Bang, Twitch, Ashton, Shoopy, Sleepy, OG, DJ, Mira, Kirby, Celery, uh, Dragon, Dan, thank you for the subs and bits. I'm sorry if I missed anything, everyone. Um, I'm talking about the mouse and all of a sudden I <laughs> Also, hi Kimmy, thank you for the, um, for the sub. Okay, um, modern house. No, I don't want to build a modern house. Oh, what am I thinking? <sighs> I mean, if we're gonna be an evil hacker, I just hate modern houses. I don't know how to build them. I'm so not good at that, you know what I mean? Don't agree. Shh. Shh. Only I can say it, not you. Um, <laughs> but I'm so not good at that. <laughs> Charlie, Ultra, Aspen, uh, NS, Jayla, Kimmy, Ren, thank you for the subs. <laughs> you like my Bonner builds? Oh, I, I appreciate that. But are you lying just so you don't get banned? <laughs> but anyway, my Sim's gonna be an evil hacker, so maybe if she had, like, a modern house. I mean, wait, her boyfriend is like a... What's he? Do you remember? Because I don't. <laughs> I don't remember what he is. Something, he might have something to do with plants. Oh, he's a waiter. Wait, he's a waiter. Oh, he's a maker because he has the key wants to make candles. Oh, so her boyfriend has to have a spot to make candles. Obviously, her mom's not dead, so her mom's gonna need some stuff for her garden still. Uh, but I saved that all in my inventory, so we should be okay there. Um, oh. The death flowers are worth 1,200 each. Oh my gosh, we got loads of money to work with! Oh, this is great fun! <laughs> but I was thinking, um, if it was, like, more modern, um, that would be interesting. And then little Dika said it could be like a cottage, and then there could be a freaky basement that's all modern and scary. Um, sorry, I'm sitting with my knees up at my desk. I keep doing that. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> People are gonna yell at me and tell me to, um, <laughs> fix my posture. Um, say no to gnomes. Uh, Katrine, Christine, Julia, thank you. Did I miss anybody? I so probably definitely did. I'm so sorry. Um... I'm not gonna move to a bigger lot, no. I, um, I feel very determined to stay on this lot the whole time. Which is ridiculous, because it's so small. But I feel really determined to stay on this lot the whole time, because I like that it's small. Um, and also, this lot is called Potter's Splay, and my, my family's last name is Potts. So it amuses me that they live in this house. Um, does that make sense? <laughs> Uh, this is Gen 8. Maybe I'll add that to the title for our Gen 8 legacy family. Um, yeah, these are my graves. They have to stay in the front yard. Um, which is part of why I like doing little cottagey things. Because it's so amusing to me to have like a little cute cottage and then just a pile of graves in the front yard. Oh, Chelsea, did you play the resub? Um, you have to refresh and play the resub for it to work. Um, so you're like resubbed, but it's giving you a chance to put a message. And it looks like maybe you didn't play it and that's why you didn't get the hype emote. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you can like wait for it and then play it tomorrow. There's usually a hype train at the beginning of the stream because everyone resubs at once. So you could do it tomorrow and you should get the hype emote then. Um, but if you refresh, I think it'll give you a chance to play the resub. 
it's weird with Prime because you think like, oh, the resub didn't work. And it just, it's like not playing straight away because it's giving you a chance to type a message with it. So you have to resub and then refresh and then play it. Everyone gets confused by that. It's not just you. Um, it's, it's confusing. <laughs> Um, Shell, Doctor, Marion, Lilac, Space, thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff too. Uh, you looked at Holo Taco's website during my stream yesterday, now you're getting their ads on Facebook? Oh my god, it's kind of scary how that works, isn't it? <laughs> it's scary how the internet, um, gets to you like that, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, I'm so sorry. Um... Um, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to pick. It can't be too big either, because the lot is so small. I'm sorry, I'm looking at a couple of reference photos online. I'm scroll- Oh, here we go. Now, besties. How about this? <laughs> Good luck pulling this off in The Sims 4. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> What do you mean, yes? It's leaning! It was a joke! We're playing The Sims! What do you mean, yes? <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> oh no. Tool mod? <laughs> when is the tool mod gonna make it so I can have angled walls? Come on, Twisted Mexi. Get a move on! It does! It, Kate Emerald could build this. No, you're- someone said it looks like something Kate Emerald would build. You're absolutely right. Kate Emerald could build this and she'd build it really well. Kate Emerald would make an angled build. She could pull it off somehow. I don't know what she does, but she's got magic powers or something. She goes like this and then all of a sudden the build is like... She like truly <laughs> defies boundaries, uh-huh. Bold, twisted, Kate Emerald. Forget the pretzels. Bold and twisted Kate Emerald. Um, I don't know what a I don't know what to build. This is horrible. I don't know what I'm going for. I don't know what I want. <sighs> I'm not sure. What would my Sims want? Modern farmhouse? We had a modern farmhouse kind of vibe, um, the lot- the house before the most recent one. Um... But... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I should do something a bit more modern looking. Just because my sim is like... I need to put this in my inventory. The only thing that can stay in the yard are the graves. And I need to scoot them to be like in the front middle so I don't lose them. Why did it do that? <laughs> oh, did, th did this go in my inventory? Because it must have gotten struck by lightning. That scared me. I, don't I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Um, I don't know. I want to just find- as soon as I can find a reference photo, I feel like I'll be set. I don't know if I want to do a warehouse. I'm not sure. Octagon, NC Stone, Laura, J. Um, Google Falling Water House. What is that? Falling Water House. Yeah, okay. Let me just build this. Oh, well in that case... <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me just whip out some waterfalls, put it together. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, I can pull that off. I'm totally not worried about that. That would be totally fine. Fine and dandy. Whoa, look at this one in the squares. I don't-
don't like houses like this. This is why I don't build houses like this, because I don't know how. This is the thing. I, it's, this is, this is out of my realm of expertise, okay? We know this. Some things are just not me. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wing it. I don't know. Let's just wing it and see what happens. Maybe it'll end up being cute. Oh, I've done loads of good mid-century houses. It's- it's- mid-century's fine. We could- we could wing a mid-century house as well. Um... I think I want it to be a bit darker as well. I think that's kind of what I'm going for. Um... Selling Sunset Inspired, oh my goodness. Um... <laughs> she- so her career, she's gonna be- this generation's gonna be an evil programmer. So, that'll be fun, I think. Um. Look, I put them in the house. See? You're welcome. Got you guys right in there. I don't- I need- maybe I'll build the house further back so that I don't risk ruining my graves. I'm worried about messing up my graves. That's a big concern of mine, is the graves getting ruined. Um. <laughs> So I'll build it further back and then I'll scoot it forward, you know? Yeah, we can put a basement. We can put a basement. I was kind of thinking about doing a basement because then we could have, like, her office in the basement, you know? At least that's kind of what I was envisioning. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. This isn't really what I was imagining initially, but I'm kind of looking at that photo and then also winging it a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I kind of want it to be weird. Can we put a pool? Oh, there'll be a pool for sure. Why so many graves? This is barely any. It was like three. Three graves isn't so much. <laughs> what do you mean, why so many graves? I hardly have any. That's like none. What graves are you guys talking about? <laughs> yeah, there's there's at least three over there. Yeah, that much I know for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. In my opinion, we need more graves. You know... I'm- I'm really glad you said that, because I'm- I'm really feeling the same way. I- I've been thinking recently, and, you know, the- the thing that I've- the conclusion I've sort of come to is that I really don't think we have enough. Um, no, this is stupid. <laughs> the conclusion I've come to is that I really don't think we have enough graves, and in fact, I think we could use at least 50 more. Yeah. The reasoning behind my graves, by the way, if you're new to the <laughs> stream. Um, the reason I have so many graves is because, um, well, I have been playing this legacy family for eight generations, and they've been struck by many a tragedy. No, I don't like it. Oh, God. Anyway, they've been struck by many a, um, a, a tragedy. The two graves that are darker than the other ones are because they're vampire graves. Um, this is Vlad, and that one is Lilith. It's also a few pet graves. There's an alien grave. Um, but the shell I started with was great. Well, let me build it again, besties. <laughs> Let's try it again. Um, I don't know. I feel like this kind of thing is so, 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 so out of my comfort zone. We're gonna be here for a while. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so you better get cozy, because this is not gonna be a fast, fast one. Um. <laughs> this, 
This this is gonna take me a while. I can tell already. Um, I probably should have thought more about this before I went live. Because usually when I do that, it ends up better. But instead I was like, no, I'll just take suggestions from chat. It'll be great. And now here I am. Lost. Lost and afraid is what I am. Do you know what it looks like? The house from my Bell Legacy family. <laughs> Which is embarrassing, because that wasn't what I was trying to do. <laughs> but <laughs> I know how to build one kind of modern house. Just one. One kind. Um, and that's it. Cool. No, I'm not gonna find a random shell off the gallery. I like to build. What if you're if you're thinking, Kayla, you seem stressed. Um, what you're what you're noticing is that um, I'm out of my comfort zone. It's not that I don't like this. <laughs> it's that I don't know what I want to do with it yet. Um, we'll figure it out though. It's gonna be fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, I just need a second to get there, you know? Um, around here, we are always stressed. See, Danya, that's the spirit. You got it. <laughs> you understand. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a skylight in this part. So, let me do that quickly. This is a fun way of making a skylight, by the way. I think it's cool. Um, so no Mario Party today. <laughs> it's so funny people being like, why aren't you playing Mario Party? It's just such a first, you know? Um, usually everyone's like, where's The Sims? I hate this game and you're stupid for playing it, Kayla. And now today, the tables have turned. <laughs> It's really great fun for me. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, how the turns have tabled. Dino, Mandy, Frog, Nikki, Jessica, Marissa, um, Sammy, Marie, AK Smith, Nixon, Keith, Ob, Sarah, Victor, Great, and Bea, and Apple Juice, and Kate, and Shelby, thank you all for the subs, I'm so sorry. Um, the answer to your question is that we were going to play Mario Party, and then The Sims decided to announce a new kit today, and then I got excited and wanted to play The Sims. So you can blame the stupid kits and their threats for this. Um, would I ever keep a chicken as a pet in real life? No. In The Sims? Yeah, I got two in my backpack. See? Um. <laughs> okay. Don't like that. I think I might, um, I think I might put a small roof on this guy. And here's my thought process. Maybe it would be cool if there was a small roof on this guy, you know? Just something simple. Emphasis on small. Rooftop garden. Oh, no, 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 no. That is probably Twitch chat's second greatest request. The rooftop garden thing. And here's my problem with rooftop gardens. I don't know how you expect me to make that look good. I, I can barely build a roof top that's flat, let alone put a garden on it. I mean, come on, who do you think you're talking to? Wrong place. Okay. Go find someone who is better at that. <laughs> 
Um, I don't know how to pull it off and make it not look stupid. And the other problem is that, you know what, Twitch chat, I'm gonna call you out for this. This house would make sense for a rooftop garden so you get a pass. Sometimes I'll be building, like, the most traditional cottage, you know, and then chat's like, put a rooftop garden on it. What? You think they're gonna have a flat rooftop on this house? What are you talking about? Okay, I hate this. I hate- I hate it. I can't- I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. It's really weird. Like, so weird. Don't agree, though. I don't think we should be building this house. I think this is the wrong style. I think... Maybe if I... Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna figure it out. No comments allowed until I figure it out, though. Um, maybe stick with the flat roof. I've done too many flat roof builds. I'm trying to make it not flat. And I want a second floor because I want to have, like, four kids. Uh... This is why I don't build houses like this. No. She's dying. She's dying. I can't do it. You d you look, if you want to see a modern house, go subscribe to somebody else. <laughs> um, let's build houses with the four ones. Give us a rooftop garden, please, Kayla. Why? How could you say this? <laughs> also, Laurel, Charlotte, Rin, Indy, Chaz, Dino, Mandy, Frog Queen, thank you all for the subs. Um, I'm gonna go for a craftsman instead. And it's gonna have a spooky, super modern, um, basement in it. It's gonna be great fun. <laughs> and back to my comfort zone. <laughs> I might actually use, um, I think I might use platforms instead of a foundation, though. Just to do something more interesting. Nah, no, I won't. I won't. Not on this one. I'm worried about it. Not today. The last time I did that, I, I almost cried because I was so annoyed at it. So maybe I shouldn't do that right now. <laughs> but it was a good shell. That's okay. Um, my dears, I love you all so much. But I, I think that something that you would benefit to learn is that you don't have to finish every build. Sometimes they're not good, and sometimes you're not feeling it, and that's okay, you know? Sometimes it's in everybody's best interest to kill it. Just kill it, you know? And then everyone is happier. And, and I feel like this was one of those times. Just murder it, much like the Sims in my front yard. Sometimes it deserves to die. And that's okay. <laughs> no, I, I bulldoze many a house. Um, they don't all work on their first try. And like I said, that's okay. Here's what I'm thinking though, my dears. Um, I'm thinking we do something like this. I mean, I'm probably going to... Um, I don't know how I want to do it. I need to think about it more. I'm going to do the roof differently, though. I think I want that to be one skinnier. I know I just made it wider, but I'm taking it back. Um, what about a sunroom? Yeah, there's going to be a sunroom, probably. Absolutely. Hey, chat, can someone grab my socks? 
my feet are cold and I don't want to get up, says Rochella. Um, chat, if I could offer you one piece of advice, it would be don't, don't go near Rochella's feet. Don't do that. Whatever she's asking for, you don't have to do it. Don't listen to her. You don't know what's down there. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sorry, Shala. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, okay. Let's, so what I'm doing right now is um, trying to make the roof more complicated. And by more complicated, I mean, I want the roof to not be clipping. So we're going all around the roof, all around it with roofing, um, instead of having a roof just to top the whole thing. Cause that way it doesn't, um... why does it look like that still? Oh, big mistake. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is one of those doesn't times. I'll work it, I'll work on it though. I'll work on it. It's fine. Obviously I'm gonna alt place it. The problem with doing that um, with alt is that it's it's not gonna look perfectly flat. Um, and then also, and perhaps more annoyingly, um, we have to alt place like many different pieces, but it's no big deal. It is no big deal. Oh my god, I hate you. No. I can't deal with that. It's gonna clip. I take back what I said before. I actually want it to clip. Oh, I'm not having a good a good time with this build today. I'm angry with it. <laughs> Alice, Ford, Natalie, Kristen, Lovely, Brooke, Shoopy, Caroline, thank you all for the subs. I am angry with it. Um, okay, this is fine. Everything is fine. Yep, I like it. Nope. Taller, there you go. Maybe just don't put a roof. You know what? That's actually a really genius idea and something that I hadn't considered. You know, like, is your roof bothering you? Perhaps don't have one. Open air. The sky's the limit. <laughs> Bianca, colors, Ellis, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, Oh, it's snowing where you are. Ugh, that's horrible. I don't live in a place that snows and I'm I'm sometimes grateful for it. Now's one of those times. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> like truly that sucks. Um Yeah, I've I've never turned the heating on in this house. There is heating in this house. I moved in in 2018. I've never used it. Not once. My life's so hard. Sorry. <laughs> Cindy, thank you for the fits. <laughs> um, I'm glad to hear that, Cindy. Uh, Julia, Cake, Jenny, thank you for the subs too. Um, hey, Kayla, I hate you now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, it's not my fault. Just Florida things. Okay. Um, 
I feel like some people uh, really enjoy the snow. And I, in my opinion, um, and I think I may speak for many of us here, snow is great fun. Sometimes. You know? There does come a point when it stops being fun. Um, and that's why people complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that's when the, the game changes, and it's not fun. Um, Thursday Week Traveler, famous Cindy Shelley, thank you all for the subs too. Um, I appreciate that. That's when the game changers, oh, get it, like EA Game Changers. Except we're not called that anymore because they change it, changed it, and now we're the, what's it, the EA Creator Network? <laughs> to be fair. I actually am glad they changed it because I think that previously when they called us game changers, people thought that I had a lot more power with the Sims than I did. I think that people heard that and thought, oh, she can change the game. When really, I just get sent packs early. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's probably a good thing that they changed the name because now people understand <laughs> better. Um... Uh, Okay. It's coming along nicely. I like it. Um, part of me is feeling a little bit though that I would like to have, oh my God, first of all, the backyard stuff fence, step one. She's coming back. I always use this fence in this family and I'm using it again right now. I missed the back corner. Oh, end of the world. Hang on. Sorry, I fixed it. Um. Okay. It is not that big of a deal. When I get back to the front, I will fix the front, besties. It's fine. <laughs> um, okay. Shirley, thank you for the two months. I think, um, the legacy backyard fence is a must. Exactly. Exactly. I was thinking about putting, um, and I, I think I still want to do it. Because we used to have a cute little greenhouse, and I loved her. She was so adorable. I think I want it back. So I might... I might get it back. I don't know how often I'll tend to it, but I mean, my Sim that had the greenhouse is still alive. So if she's still kicking, the very least we could do for her is give her her greenhouse, you know? Um, the greenhouse we had was, was kind of, oh. It was a bit like this. Um, the problem is that Clips so annoyingly. <sighs> um, there's that object from like, who's the new heir? Um, her name is Poppy. She's one of the twins. She's the one with black hair. Her sister has brown hair, if that helps. Um, she's gonna be an evil hacker. So. <laughs> it's kind of a cute clipping. Yeah, well, you know, you always think that. You always think the clipping is cute. And then you change the roof color for the rest of it and you realize, never mind. The clipping's not cute. It makes me want to cry. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's from Get Together, right? First of all, it's not this. It's this. I got it. That's what I want. I want to pretend that my roof is like this. I know, I could also use the island living glass panes, but those are more complicated. 
because they're flat and I don't want it to be flat. I want it to be open. I don't, I don't know how to, um, tie her together, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I feel like, um, Just a glass roof centerpiece. Sydney, that's what I tried to do the first time. <laughs> you don't understand. It's so ugly. I hate glass roofs in this game. You, there's, you can't make it not look bad, okay? Here's the problem. It clips. It looks like that. Absolutely horrendous, okay? And then it clips in some angles. Absolutely horrendous. Sometimes it doesn't clip. Then you put like a different roof texture on it and then you catch it in the wrong light and it's clipping all horribly and it makes you want to cry. <sighs> no, that's the wrong one. Do you see how it's like... Well, now it's not clipping. Yeah, you would be surprised though. You're gonna catch it from the wrong angle and it's gonna clip. And it's gonna be like shiny or something. It's terrible. It's a miracle it's not clipping right now. I'm gonna reload the lot and it's gonna break. I'm gonna try and keep it like this because this is how I wanted it to look originally. Um, but I, it's like clipping in this area still. Obviously it's not clipping up there because I made it a little bit lower, but Fingers crossed it left, leaves it alone, because I really want it to be left alone. Like, so badly. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Why do you do that, game? What do you gain from causing me problems like this? Making it lower fixed it? Well, I know. <laughs> Um, it didn't fix it the first time we tried about five minutes ago though, so I'm, I don't have high hopes for it staying. I'm sorry if I seem very cynical. I just find glass roofs very frustrating to make look good. Um, so. <laughs> I feel like I might want to make it a little bit smaller. Um. <laughs> You know, apple juice, I don't know how to tell you this, but the absolute last thing I want to do right now is change the whole build. <laughs> you guys really gotta bear with me. This is why building on stream is like so difficult sometimes because everyone has obviously different ideas for things. Um, and then you finally finish something and like it and they're like, mm, it was better about 15 minutes ago. Put it back. <laughs> Oh, it just makes me want to cry sometimes. You finally get into a place where it looks okay and they're like, mm. Start over. <laughs> also, my piranha pond. Here's the problem with the greenhouse. The other problem with the greenhouse is that my piranha pond doesn't fit anymore. And that is the most important item of the game. I mean, I guess it'll fit back there, but then we can't have a pool. So like, I guess it is our pool. That's the most important part of my backyard. Um. <laughs> uh, Tati, Nessie, Belly, Eliz, Archie, Ryan, Miali, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, I did not paint my, house, my nails with the new Hollow Taco yet. I didn't have time last night, Brittany. I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance to paint them yet. Um, I'm probably gonna paint them tonight, though. I have been so busy. <laughs> the past few weeks. Um, I recorded like three videos today though, so that's exciting. Um, but I just, I want to make sure that I have, um, obviously content to post while I visit my grandparents over Thanksgiving. So, 
Um, I've been recording a lot. Um, it's a busy week, but it's okay because it's fun. What are we doing? We're building a house for my legacy family. A new house for my- actually, you know what? I just realized I don't want it to be all the way over there. I want it only to be there. Um, want to move to a bigger lot? Because I've lived in this lot for eight generations, Emily. I don't want to move. Eight generations on this house. <laughs> I don't really want to change away from it now, you know? Um, Dilly with the 28 months, Vinth and Mosif and, and Odak. Thank you all for the subs to everybody. Um, it's part of the legacy now, you know, living on this house. Um, also, my Sim's last name is Potts, and this is this lot you might remember is called um, Potter's Splay. So that amuses me. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Charlie. And Emily, thank you for the bits too. Um, we have a lot of history in this lot, yeah. <laughs> exactly, we can't leave now. Um, Especially now that we've been through like eight generations, there's no point. Just embrace it. Live it out for the rest, you know? Um, live across from the land grabs lot? No, they never lived across from the land grabs. Colors, you are remembering my YouTube family. Um, my legacy on YouTube is different. Oh, geez. It's different than my legacy on Twitch. Um, so I think you're remembering the YouTube family. They live across from the land grabs still. Um, but I've got two families that I'm playing with, sort of, right now. One on YouTube and one on Twitch. It's a lot of graves? Oh yeah, it is. It definitely is. Um, okay. I'm gonna like this, I think. how the turnip problem go? Oh my god, don't even get me started. I spoiled... 4,000 turnips yesterday in Animal Crossing. Like some kind of stupid Animal Crossing noob. Do you know how I did it? I went on to play Animal Crossing at like 8.55 last night, right? I hadn't played all day. Um, and I was, I was in the Discord and I noticed somebody in the server, in my Discord server, um, had a really good turnip price. They, they, were some, they were buying for like 6.47. And so I was like, oh man, I should sell my turnips on their island. So I, I got the little turnip queue and I joined the queue. And while I was waiting, I was like, oh man, my shop closed. I can't check the Able Sisters. Let me just time travel back an hour. So it's nine again, or an eight again, so I can check the Able Sisters. If you time travel back, your turnips spoil. I know that. I haven't playing Animal Crossing for so long. Stupid. I just wasn't thinking. I was like, oh, just go back an hour. I spoil all of them. All the turnips. I spent like 400,000 bells on turnips. And I spoiled them. Useless. They're dead. Dead and wasted. Money. Poof. Gone. <sighs> anyway. Um, that was my fault. I, I did do that to myself. I don't know how. Because I play Animal Crossing. Um, anyway, I did cry. <laughs> no, I didn't cry. I, I was laughing about it because I couldn't believe it. It's not the end of the world. I have bells, you know, I can get it back. But I was really mad at myself. <laughs> um, was there anything good in Abel's? No. No, there wasn't. And then I had to message the person who invited me to their island to come sell my turnips and be like, oh, by the way, never mind. I'm not coming anymore because I spoiled them. All of them. So, that's fun. My incognito outfit that was morning Napoleon again. Oh yeah, I put on, um, as a joke, I put on an outfit before I went to sell my turnips, you know, before they were spoiled. I put on what I called an incognito outfit. I wore like all black and sunglasses because I was like, teehee, I'm going to someone's island. <laughs> Don't want to get recognized. <laughs> that was the joke. Um, and then when my turnips all spoiled, it looked like I was wearing morning clothes. So I guess that was funny. 
Um, but we were joking about it in my mods chat, like, dress up all incognito so you don't, you know. Anyway, um, then I spoiled them all. So. It's fine. I deserved it. I deserve to spoil my turnips. I'm glad I spoiled my turnips, personally. Um, it was fun. No, I wasn't live. This happened last night. I was sitting on my couch. <laughs> um, it's not a- it's not a clip or anything, I wish. Um, oh yeah, and then the other thing. So I messaged the person out of my Discord. Um, and I was like, hey, can I, can I come over? And they sent me, like, the link to join their turnip queue, which I was like, absolutely, I'll sit here and wait in the queue. And then after I messaged them again to say that I spoiled my turnips, they were like, oh no, I didn't realize it was you. I would have let you skip the line. <laughs> but, well, if that had happened, then I wouldn't have spoiled them, would I? <laughs> Please branch out with the windows, smiley face. No. I like how these match the house. These are my favorite base game windows, because they're big. Sorry. Um, but anyway, that made me giggle. I always choose these wood floors. No, actually, Mia, I don't. Um, that one you're incorrect about. <laughs> uh, these wood floors I never used up until, uh, because they were this ugly color. I never used them up until last month when they did the update, the swatch update. Because up until last month, they looked stupid. <laughs> um, so I never used them, really. I think I don't think I- I don't think I ever used them, actually, until the swatch update. Because they were ugly. So. Um. Anyway, I- I spoiled my turnips. So, that's the life update for you. Um. How many sims are gonna live in this house? Okay, so right now, in this house, I have my previous generation sim, the Gen 7 sim. I have uh, the Gen 7 sim's two daughters. They're both young adults right now. Um, so they're living in here still. Um, but the one of them is now the new heir, so um, I'm probably going to, uh, like, make it her house for the most part. Like, we're kind of gonna switch switch it over to be her house. Um, so I have like the parents, the two daughters, that's four. Um, but I think the gen eight sim is probably gonna have like four kids. So I wanna have a bunch of bedrooms. Um, this is not a base game build, no. Um, I'm using a lot of base game stuff right now, but I'm not done. I don't really care if you think it looks like my other builds either. This is my legacy house. I'm going to play in it in my eighth generation of my legacy family. <laughs> So, um, I'm- I'm absolutely okay with it looking similar to the other houses from this legacy family. Um, that doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> um, it is perfectly fine by me if it looks like the other ones. Okay, I think I'll put two big trees in the backyard. Or maybe I'll put on the other side of the, the world. It's a bit large. A second pond, oh my god, could you imagine? The whole backyard is just full of ponds. Cause I get another one. Um, I don't know if I wanna use, I don't know if I wanna have the fence anymore in the front. We did it in the past few houses, but I don't know if I wanna have it in this one. Um, <laughs> Pixelated, Pepsi, Megan, thank you all for the subs, too. Um, will I put it on the gallery to download? Yeah, Selfie Queen! I have to finish it first, though. So just keep that in mind, but I'll put it up to download once I'm done with it. Don't worry. Um, is there a link for the rules of the challenge? No, bestie, it's not a challenge with rules. <laughs> um, I think people hear Legacy Challenge and assume it's maybe more complicated. Um, I'm just playing with a family for a lot of generations. The beginning rules of legacies usually start off with like 1800 simoleons and an empty lot, um, and then go from there. But some people play with like a point tracking system. There's all sorts of different kinds of legacy challenges. This is not any one of them in particular. Um, 
I'm just playing. So there's not like rules I'm following that I need to link you or anything because that's just not how I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just playing Sims Family. Um, yeah, if you get it off the gallery, you do get uh, the graves as well. <laughs> so you're welcome. Consider that your lucky day. <laughs> you too can have my graves. Okay, I need to like redo some of these bad boys to be a bit more, um, you know? My goal eventually is to fill up the whole front yard with them. That was always my dream. Yeah, get the stupid occult graves together. I hate them. They really ruin the vibes. I'm not gonna lie. So they can be on the outside edge. Um, but I, I've been piling up these graves for a while now. Obviously. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. Um, but I want to fill up the whole front yard with them. What is the small one? Uh, it's a fake grave. It's because one of my pets died when I wasn't in the household, and so it didn't give me their gravestone. Um, and I was very upset about that, obviously, because I collect gravestones. Um, so I, I made myself a fake one. It's just one of the grave items from the game. Nothing fancy. But it was my cat. Um, I left the household to go age up one of my, like, other Sims kids. And in the, the brief moments that I was gone from the household, my Sims cat died. It was actually devastating. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> um, okay, I don't like the lighting on this lot. It's upsetting me. Why do I have vampire graves? Because I killed them? It was fun. Yes, I'm going to keep the graves in the front. The graves have been in the front for eight generations. Um, that's not changing now. <laughs> Rudy, thank you for the bits. Um, Nox and Gem, thank you for the subs too. Um, Dan just yelled, what is wrong with me? Also, Banana, thank you for the two months. <laughs> okay. Um... I think I want to use these. The question is, what color? And that question is hard to answer because it's it's like freshly spring. So everything's a bit ugly in color right now. <laughs> it's all looking a bit nasty right now, um, unfortunately. Try and get some blue, maybe? Um, it's looking a little dead in the front yard. You know, it kind of is looking a little bit dead in the front yard. I wonder why that is. <laughs> yellow for Rochella. Oh, I could paint the outside yellow. Yeah. Could get some nice yellow siding for you, Shella. It's too happy. I don't want it to be yellow. Um, unfortunately. I was thinking like a dark gray would be nice. Um, my sim is evil. I feel like I don't want them to have a nice happy house exterior. Maybe I'll change this too. too dark. I want like an in-between of those two things. What a shame. Maybe I'll use that one. Red house for red Taylor's version. You know, I, I like the idea. I wish that the, the shades of red um, were better in this game. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a huge fan of most of the red swatches for wallpapers. Um, otherwise, I would be way more willing to do that. 
Um, there is a ghost side of the house. Yeah, that's my, my Sims dad. <laughs> dude, dude, and Migriff with the resubs. 24 months, Migriff. Thank you so much. Um. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is going to be really nice when it's done. I can just tell. Graves are coming along very nicely. Thought they were adding a new window this week? Uh, they said end of November, didn't they? It's middle of November. No, I did that already. I did make a red house last week. Um, I did already make a red house. <laughs> I just assumed they hadn't seen it. Um, but I made a red house on YouTube on Friday. I missed a piece of wall. I didn't paint a wall. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't there a new kit? They announced a new kit today, yeah. I'm not gonna take the whole Thanksgiving week off obsessed with food, but I am going to my grandparents' house the week of Thanksgiving, so I can't stream from there um, for a couple days. Uh, their internet sucks. <laughs> so I can't stream from my grandparents' house. Um, but I, I'll post in the Discord about my plans for next week and stuff. Um, I need to figure out exactly what's happening with it, though. Um, but I, I can't stream from my grandparents' house, unfortunately. Even if I wanted to, I could not. <laughs> um, unfortunately. They probably need the chimney for missing paint. Yeah, I, I was thinking that, too. Um, they probably just saw it, like, out the corner of their eye and thought that I hadn't painted it yet. Because I haven't painted it yet, but that's only because it was a different color. Um, I knew it wasn't painted, don't worry. <laughs> I was just worrying about the siding first. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay. We're not playing Mario Party tomorrow, no. I was gonna play Mario Party today, but, um, then The Sims announced a new kit and I really wanted to play The Sims. <sighs> I was feeling simmy. I swear, it is bizarre. No matter what I do, people are like, why aren't you doing something else? I know I said I was gonna play Mario Party, so that, it makes sense, but it's so funny because this always happens with The Sims. I'll be playing Animal Crossing and then the whole chat's like, why aren't you playing The Sims? And then this time... <laughs> I'm playing The Sims, and different people are like, why aren't you playing something else? <laughs> um, it's so funny. Okay. I like that this time it's the opposite, though. I feel like I needed this. I needed some opposite day. Um. Okay. That'll be pretty. Is the new Mario Party fun? I, I really want to play. I don't know. I haven't played it. <laughs> I was gonna play it for the first time today. Um, so I have no idea if the new Mario Party is fun. I suppose that is something we will have to wait and find out. Probably like next week, I don't know. Um. Okay, that'll be nice. What bad word did I say, YouTube? Stone, just so you know, um, we can't see what you said. <laughs> Um, if that ever happens, if the bot, um, or if Twitch is ever, like, um, your message was picked up by Automod. Um, Automod is different from, um, your message, like, conflicting with the channel's moderation settings. One of them will never send, the other one we will see. Um, either way, you're fine. <laughs> um, you, I don't know what it was. Sometimes it's really weird things that we didn't even block that Twitch is picking up. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. I didn't, I couldn't see it. Um, you can always whisper a mod and they can tell you, but if you tell them, they can guess at least. But, for example, the word shirt. Twitch has blocked that word from my chat. Don't know why. It's because of auto mod, but I didn't block that word. People think I did, because it doesn't send in my chat, but I didn't, and I've tried to whitelist it, it doesn't work. But, like, it's probably something really dumb like that. Again, you're not in trouble. If you were in trouble, you would have gotten banned, so don't worry. Um, we probably couldn't even see what you said. <laughs> um... Don't fret, is basically all I'm trying to say. Um, okay. I think... Um, 
Oh, you want to tell, tell someone to watch my short about the new kit? Yeah, the word short and the word shirt get picked up. I didn't do that. Like I said, I've those words I've tried to whitelist. It doesn't work. Um, that would be why, though. <laughs> I think it's because um, the word, um, well, S-H-I-T, right, obviously. But um, more so, I think the word shirt and shorts get picked up um, and not sent because of people on the internet telling people to take their clothes off. That is the only, only reason I can think of as to why Twitch would like auto block those words from my chat when I didn't block them. I literally cannot think of a single other reason. Um, so that's just what I assume. I could be wrong about it. Um, that's what I assume is what it is. Um, again, I've tried to whitelist them. <laughs> It doesn't work though. It just keeps coming back, so. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the word recipe is blocked in yours. Miv, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Like, why Why does the word recipe not work in Miv's chat? Make that make sense. Recipe? Like, so it could be, there could be a whole other different reason that makes no sense that we're not even thinking of. That's the reason that they're doing it. Um, but, um, when am I gonna do not so very? Bestie, we gotta finish this, this one first. Um, we're gonna do it once we finish this legacy. Um, P, maybe, <laughs> Because of P? No, that's so dumb. I don't think that it's that smart because there's so many words that like, it doesn't pick up. I don't like, I really don't believe that it's picking up it because of like the word P. I find that extremely unlikely. Um, it, I don't know what it is though. So I'm just, it's comforting to know that it happens to other streamers though. Um, but yeah, moral of the story is you're not in trouble if the thing is like your word, your message was held because it conflicts with the channel's moderation settings. You would know if you said something bad, don't worry. <laughs> Um, I feel like we have this conversation, like, every day, because this happens, but I have my auto mod settings up, like, on the highest they can go, so. Um. Whatever. Um. I think I like this. I don't like how the terrain paint looks, but it's because it's spring, so. Brugals, thank you for the nine-month reset, by the way. Thank you so much. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing I can do about it though, because no matter what I try, it doesn't uh, doesn't work. It doesn't whitelist them. So, is the music playing from Animal Jam? No, it's from the Sims 2 soundtrack. Um, same thing, right? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> sure. Um. <laughs> yeah, it just happened again, Hex. I don't know why. I, like, Automod picks up the weirdest things. And that's the thing. O Automod is, is better, because if Automod picks it up, it just holds it for mods to see first, and then, uh, like, say this is fine or this is not fine. Um, but things getting, like, um, that say they conflict with the channel's moderation settings, those ones don't even go through at all. You can't even send the message. Like, at least with regular auto mod stuff, um, the mods can, like, approve it when it's fine, you know? Um, but, anyway, it's very bizarre. At the end of the day, I'd rather it pick up more than less, because it catches a lot of things that would probably slip through the cracks otherwise, but, um, it's really annoying, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, we can't even approve it. We can't even see them. They just go straight into the void, because we won't let you send it. Does that make sense? Um, super weird. I think I'm gonna put a couple plants out here. Um, but anyway, you're fine. <laughs> Moral of the story is nobody's in trouble. <laughs> Gavilab, Frugals, Valkyrie, Lauren, Honey Bunny, thank you for the subs. Um, I like it. I wanna get a rocking chair too. Don't forget a dog door. Oh, Bestie, it's not gonna fit. 
Um, trust me, I thought about it already. It's not gonna work. Not in this one. I think it's too small. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Um, asparagus, right? We adopted it yesterday. I believe the dog is called asparagus. Just get rid of the front door. Yeah! You know what? You make a good point. That's what I should do. Um, okay. I think I am going to greatly struggle with the floor plan on this one. I can feel it already. <laughs> Um, I think I'm gonna put... Basically, what I'm thinking I will do is have, um... No, it has two floors. The upstairs is kind of deceptively big as well. It looks smaller than it actually is. Um, it's a two-story house, though. Um, I think it's gonna be a kind of open floor plan in here. Um. But. I will probably. I need to think about this. Because it's like too open. Um, I'm planning to use the Blooming Rooms kit in this one. A little bit hex. Um, this is a legacy house, so it's a house that I'm actively playing in. So I'm not gonna, like, limit packs at all or anything. I'm just gonna use whatever I want in it, um, because it's one that I'm gonna use for my own personal gameplay. Um, oh, hate where that is. Literally so much. I despise that. Um, that's better. <laughs> But because it's for my own personal gameplay, um, I'm not gonna like limit the packs in it or anything like that. Um, because this one's for me. I'm not really building this so I can post a download somewhere, you know, I'm building this so that I can play in it. Um, and for that reason I'm just gonna do what I want. Does that make sense? Um. Three small bedrooms upstairs is pretty good. I think I might even um, just close that off completely, just for my own. Um. Oh no, <laughs> Marissa, that's so funny. Um, apparently Marissa was talking about unpacking and then someone asked, oh, what are you unpacking? But Marissa was talking about the um, the video game, the new game unpacking that came out kind of recently. That's so fun. I love that. I love that they asked what you were unpacking. That's really nice of them as well. <laughs> Just trying to make conversation. You're like, no, I mean a game. Oh no, it was you. Wait, it was Miv. Miv asked that. Oh, never mind. That's Miv. Stupid. It's not cute anymore. It's stupid. And romantic gays, happy gay stuck. Gavel up, giraffe. Thank you for the subs and bits. <laughs> Is there a budget for this house? Yeah, it's um, how much money I have on me. Uh, is how much money the Sims had. <laughs> Sorry, Moo. It's fun to make fun of you, though. So I had to. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Moo said, Sorry, I only have room for one game in my brain and it's Animal Crossing. You are so valid in that. Truly. Um, I respect it. But, that's still embarrassing. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking that this down here will be the like main um, bedroom. And we'll have like a little hallway for it and everything. It's gonna be so cute, see? Is that a ghost? Yeah. It's my dad. Um, he's dead. 
use the closed off bit as a shower. Oh, there's already like a, a shower bit here. I don't really want to make it even longer. I think the long I think it being that long and skinny is upsetting. <laughs> I find it I find that small hallway to be upsetting. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um KSM Maroon, uh Ad and Liv and Cat Lady, thank you for the subs and bits too. Um for the cat litter? Yeah, maybe for future cats. That could be fun. Um, so this house is three bathrooms. That's actually pretty good. Um, that'll be a bathroom, that'll be a bathroom, and then this'll be a bathroom. Um, and then it's four bedrooms, which works. I can have four kids up there eventually. Um, yeah, the sleigh thing is because of how many graves I have. The potter sleigh thing. I'm glad you noticed. Because it amuses me. <laughs> no, this is a bedroom down here, Me Meg. This is this is the main bedroom and it has an ensuite. I think that's a pretty solid um <laughs> bedroom space, <laughs> personally. Um No, it's not a den, it's the bedroom. Um, okay. Put a little tiny desk in the area. What, in the, um... The U-shaped sta stairs could look better. Well, you want me to change the stairs now after I already finished the floor plan? What is wrong with you? Someone wants me to put a desk in there. We can think about that too. Um, I don't know where I'm putting the basement. I haven't figured out where anything's gonna go in here yet. I'm trying to figure that out now. So give me a second, chat, before we all spam about a basement that I'm thinking about but can't figure out. <laughs> um, Alice, you are very sweet, but my, my, um, my... My friends and my mods and I don't really like it when people spam too much, okay? So, um, it's probably for the best to not copy and paste the same message over and over again, just so that, um, there's more productive, like, stuff being added to chat, if that makes sense. Um, but you are very kind, thank you. But try in the future to not copy and paste things. I think you'll find that most Twitch chats don't really like that. Um, I know people do that a lot in, like, big streamers' chats, but I don't think my stream is big enough for people to not notice you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, does that make sense? Okay. I'm thinking... Oh, people are gonna hate this. I think I'm gonna not put, um, the fireplace by the chimney. Woo! <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Liv, I hope you're doing okay. I'm so sorry. Also, Ailey, thank you for the prime sub, too. Um, that was Dan yelling. Yell singing? Something like both? Um... Okay, um, I think I want to get, he's in his opera era, exactly. Um, I don't know what color I want to use. Maybe the gray will be good for now. I think I'm going to raise these windows up as well. Well, there's only one window on this side. Oh, well then, there you go. I have to do it like that. That's fine. Maybe I'll put it there. Wait. Oh, that is extremely upsetting. There is where I need it. Sorry, everyone. Um. I think I may try and use a smaller door. If Kayla checks her Instagram messages. Bestie, um, if you message me on Instagram, I don't know how, because I got my Instagram DMs off. <laughs> so if you sent me something on Instagram, I don't think it went through. <laughs> um, I have, I have my Instagram DMs off. Um, it was causing me a lot of anxiety, so. 
I had to stop. <laughs> um, unfortunately, uh, I, I uh, honestly, even um, real people that I know in real life, I hardly read their Instagram DMs. So don't take it too personally. I'm just not on Instagram much. Um, yeah, who needs a door? You know what? I think you're right. I think the doors personally are stupid. A giant doggy door is, is for the best. That is, that is the right way to go. 100%. Do you know something funny about um, dog doors in The Sims? I think you guys are gonna like this. Um, some of you knew this already, but if you didn't, um, here's a fun surprise. You can use dog doors in The Sims for toddlers. Um, toddlers can walk through the big dog door. The bigger dog door, um, they can walk through it. So you can make like a room only accessible by pets and toddlers if you put the big dog door. <laughs> yep, not a prank, it's a real thing. I used to do that in my baby challenge because I was playing the 100 baby challenge and I was sick of my toddlers um, being taken care of by stuff, um, be by other people. I wanted them to be trapped and not be bathed because I wanted to just cheat their hygiene need. Um, so I put them in a room that only they could access with a dog door. So, where is it in the catalog? The dog doors came with um, cats and dogs. They're at the very bottom. So this one um, is one of the bigger ones. Toddlers can walk through that one. The small one is really small. You'll see the small one, they can't walk through that one, but the big one they can. Um, not a lie though. <laughs> I, I'm being completely and totally serious about this. Um, your toddlers can walk through it. I'll put one. And so when I have toddlers born, eventually I'll show you. Um, <laughs> Valerie, Sarah, HG, living with life. Thank you for the subs and bits, everybody. Um, but it's funny. <laughs> so now you know. Okay, I'm thinking I want to put. Do they have lifts? No, they don't have elevators in this one. Um, they're they're well. It's annoying. They do, but. You can't actually use them. Um, and what I mean by that is they do have them. They exist. Uh, they came when they added like the city pack basically. Um, but if you put them in your house, your Sims can't actually use them to go like up and down. Um, it just is decorative basically. <laughs> um, and you have to put one like on the penthouse slots, but they don't even use it. It's really weird. Um, but they have them technically. <laughs> okay, I think I wanna put, um, I think I wanna close this off a little bit just so it's, I wanna have some separation of rooms. I realize that, you know, in real life, you probably wouldn't wanna do this, but in The Sims, I'm gonna. So there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, S. I yeah. I if you sent me a message on Instagram, I can't see it because um, I, I have them off. So it must have like gone into the void or something. I apologize. Um, I, I wasn't like ignoring you. <laughs> um, it just <laughs> I can't access them. Um, honestly, I didn't realize that you still could message me because I have it off. Um, I feel like that is misleading on Instagram's part, but get a plant. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, that is kind of bad that people can still message me even though it's off. Cause it kind of led, leads them to believe that they might get a reply. And I like didn't even know they messaged me. <laughs> um, that sucks. Cassidy, thank you for the 12 month resub. Um, I love you. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Um, and Trash and, and Lynn and Ari, thank you for the subs, everybody, too. Um, yeah, Abby, I kind of, I kind of like a, a slightly more closed off space in real life as well. I think that there's something kind of charming about it. Um, obviously open floor plans are very trendy and like ideal, you know? <laughs> um, but there's something kind of nice about a space like this that's a bit more separate. Well, this one's not very separated. It's all open. It's one room, but, um, didn't someone try and send you your own address through DMs? No, they emailed that to me. 
I got all sorts of creepy DMs though. So do my siblings. Um, so. <sighs> stressful, to say the least. Um, it's okay. I've, I've, um, this, I mean this, this sounds really weird, but, um, I, I've, uh, recently been less anxious about the fact that people have been doing the address thing. Um, I've sort of, like, just accepted that it's a thing that's happening. <laughs> um, and there's no point panicking about it, so maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Less stressed out is always a good thing, right? Um, but... <laughs> it's not okay, but I, I'm, um, doing better mentally with it. So, it does help that I'm not alone anymore. Um, it was a lot worse when I was living by myself. Um, but now that Dan is here, it's less scary. Because I'm not, you know, alone all of the time. Um. <sighs> How do I want to do this? I think the corner sofa is actually probably the best bet. Right? Is the address accurate? Hayden, I don't think you meant for that question to be creepy, but... <laughs> yes, when people harass me at my home, they are correct. <laughs> um... <laughs> Friendly mother love Capricorn and some Cassidy, thank you for the subs. Um, that's funny. Okay. I think... What sheets do I have on? I've got move objects on. Um, no, don't worry about the, them saying that. Trust me, you guys, I've seen so much worse. Don't bother with them. <laughs> they didn't mean it that way. Um, I Well, I think. You can usually tell when they mean it in a bad way. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> there's been worse. <laughs> so... Um, don't worry about it, it's okay. I feel like... Maybe these are- these are skinnier, right? Maybe I'll swap them. Yeah, that looks better, because it fits better over the island. And then these will be nice in the living room. Well, that's kind of nice. Is the address accurate? Are you going to be home tomorrow between 10 and 11 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kayla, can I have a copy of your door key? <laughs> um, put the couch up against the wall so there's not dead space. Um, I was having the dead space on purpose because I wanted the rug to be centered in the room. <laughs> Bubbles, thank you for the sub. Um, hopefully you'll like it better in a minute once we've added some more to it. Just leave a key under the mat, we'll find it. <laughs> do you know what? I sincerely hope that no YouTubers do that. The key under the mat thing. Any person who's got like a following on the internet, don't be leaving a key under your mat. You never know. You never know. <laughs> and that's like the first place people look. <laughs> right? Like you maybe you shouldn't leave a key um <laughs> outside. <laughs> Honestly, maybe most people shouldn't do that. Um, but at the very least, people who have, like, proven individuals that are willing to do creepy things, you know? Um, or a fake turtle or a fake rock. Yeah, those key hideaway things are really obvious. They're probably not the best idea. <laughs> Let's be honest for a second. <laughs> um... Yeah, a lot of people leave keys, keys under their doormat. Um, I don't know. Um, a lot of people leave keys outside their home hidden in case, like, I don't know, the neighbor needs to get in to drop something off, or if they forget something, and maybe they are they lose their key and they get locked out, they've got an extra one. A lot of people leave keys um, outside of their home in case of emergency like that. 
Um, nothing too ab absurd about that, but when you think about it, it's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Thought it was only in movies? Maybe it is only in movies. Um, honestly, you might be right about that nowadays. Um, yeah, you leave a key with your parents. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I don't know, a lot of people give their neighbors a key to, like, keep. Um, and depending on who your neighbor is, it's probably fine. <laughs> but, um, I don't know any of my neighbors. I wouldn't give them the key to my house. Never met them. Like, for example, my neighbors that keep throwing parties. Mm, I don't know about those people. I don't like them very much. They keep me awake very often. Do I want them to have a key to my home? <laughs> mm, <laughs> probably not. You know? Um. <laughs> yeah, people usually give keys, like, out to their friends or relatives just in case something happens, you know? Like, my parents have keys to my house. Um. But I wouldn't leave one outside, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um. Yeah, had your neighbor's keys, you could let their cat in. Yeah, I mean, that kind of thing happens a lot. Um. You give a key to your neighbor if you're gonna be out of town so they can water your plants and just let them keep it, you know? Stuff like that. Um, you have the keys to four different people's houses? Oh boy! <laughs> That's funny. Um, wow. <laughs> it's your 21st birthday, Christini! Oh my goodness. I can sing you a song. <laughs> <laughs> your plants died because you couldn't get back to your apartment for six months because of the pandemic. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miv. That's, like, actually devastating. Like, no joke, that's really sad. Um, my plant almost died, but not because of the pandemic. My plant almost died because I went to help Dan move to America, and then my parents were supposed to water my plants, and they watered all the plants downstairs, but they didn't water the plant in this room. And then, um, when I came home, he was like this. He was previously like this, then he was like this. And all brown and his leaves all fell off. But he's okay now, he's not in here anymore. I, I put him on the patio to see if he could be revived. Um, like, with more direct sunlight, you know? Um, and he's actually doing really well out there. Um, so I don't have him in here right now, but he's doing a lot better. <laughs> um, he's doing a lot better, which is good. He's totally- he's- he's fine. He, like, pulled through. I mean, honestly, better is probably, like, a- not even a good word. He's fine. Um, I just don't want to put him back in here just because I feel like he was- he's doing okay and I don't want to risk hurting him again. Um, but don't worry. If you were concerned about my plant, he pulled through. That one was called Jeffrey. Still is called Jeffrey. Um, and he's doing just fine. This one is called Malcolm Land Grab. Yeah, it's real. It's a real plant. Um, always has been. <laughs> but Jeffrey's fine. Jeffrey's not dead or anything. <laughs> he pulled through. He was like this, now he's like this again. He's not fully back to his, um, but he's doing better. <laughs> also, hi dad, thank you for the tier 3 49 month resub, by the way. Um... Google Greta Animal Crossing and click the sixth photo. What? She's so cute. I can't but This is what Greta usually looks like. Wait. I never seen Greta so mad in my life. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Greta? <laughs> you don't seem very happy with me. <laughs> Dad, you've been paying for that sub monthly for 49 months. You didn't pay just now, you already paid. 
And that's why you had a resub available. Do you need me to help you cancel the sub? Sometimes he resubs to me in chat and he's like, did I just pay for that? Oh, dad, you pay every month. You pay every month. <laughs> you know how it works. You subscribed. You know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> You're making my chat think that I've like tricked you into paying me for for Twitch subs. <laughs> you know how it works. <sighs> He's making me nervous. I feel like um Do you think I should put it here? Is it like too tight? Maybe I'll only have four chairs. Maybe that would be better. How dare you scam your dad, Kayla? Oh no. <laughs> Should be Peyton, Steph, thank you for the subs. Faith and Erica as well. Tier two, 14 months, Peyton. Thank you so much. Um, maybe against the window? Yeah, maybe. We could put it against the window. We can't really put a, um, a rug under it if it's against the window. And I feel like there's a lot of space over here that I'm unsure of what to do with. <laughs> bar stools, maybe we can put bar stools, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and change the door out. Where's the table from again? Oh, the plant. Um, this plant is from the new plant kit that came out last week. Um, I think... If there was simply a better front door, I would really appreciate it. For example, this one. I know it's for medium wall height, but it doesn't clip that much. So I personally think it's fine. See, wouldn't that be nicer? Hey, Sam Groove Frost. Um, not sure about that door in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> you mean the giant door in the middle of the room? What? What's the problem? Personally, I love my giant door in the middle of the room. I thought it looked really nice. <laughs> How many Sims have I killed? Well... Some of these sims died of old age. Um, so don't worry about it. <laughs> what? Yeah, some. <laughs> Several of those sims died of old age. No. <laughs> How many per grave though? Oh no. We're like stacking them up. Could you imagine? <laughs> That's bad. We like that? I can't tell. Honestly, I can't tell. Maybe that's a better color. Not my favorite, but may grow on me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might put a different light above the... Oh no, I love that light. I just, I love the lights from Dream Home Decorator. Um. Hang on. Don't be mean to people in-
in my chat. What is wrong with you? Imagine being so rude that your first message is making fun of someone's username. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's like actually embarrassing. Really way to leave an impression on the stream. <laughs> By being mean to people. Solid choice. Anyway, I banned them. Don't worry. Um, how annoying. <laughs> That's kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Um, good job though. Skipping brain, only Velcro, Tyra, uh, Shoopy, thank you for the subs and bits, everybody. Um, yeah, quite the entrance, right? <laughs> Make some enemies. Get banned. All in your first day. Very impressive. I don't know what I want to put in here. Um, I feel like I'm not a huge fan of the fact that you just enter straight into the living room like that. Like it feels very, um, I don't know. I guess part of me kind of wishes that there was like a more formal entrance. Um, I don't know how to do that. There's not enough space to put this elsewhere either. I thought about swapping the kitchen and living room. The problem with swapping the kitchen and living room is that, um, that was my first thought I just had, but I think my concern with that is that the, um, the, the windows are different in the front of the house. Um, so I'd have to like change them. Which is fine, but, um, oops. I'm gonna take way too long to do this. It's kind of embarrassing. Like, we could totally put the kitchen in, in this area instead. Like, that would be totally fine, but would it look good? I don't know. Make the house wider. <laughs> um, I don't know if we can pull that off, unfortunately. Um, we already did the whole house. <laughs> Those are base game windows. These are my favorite windows in the whole game. I really like them. Um, I use them a lot, you, you may have noticed. Um, but I just really like them, so. Honestly, I could, I could have it so that these are centered. And then I can have my sink right there, centered. Maybe this is for the best. Wouldn't that be nice? I could probably have an island now. I kind of like it. We'll do the fridge and the oven. Um, does redeeming channel points help the streamer? No, there's not like any, um, if you mean like in a monetary way, um, then no, there's not like any, um, like you're not gonna like pay me with channel points. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, no, channel points are, are just like a benefit for you. Um, it's, it's more like a channel points are super fun for you to redeem because you get like perks or, Silly things, depending on what the streamer has set up. Um, ours are mostly just silly things because they're kind of hard to keep track of. Um, but they're they're more like a perk for you. They're not like a a money thing. It's just it's fake currency that you can exchange for silly things in stream, <laughs> basically. Um, all right, I think I want to get. Perhaps the parenthood thingy again. I really like this. 
Um, instead of a wall, I could use the couch as a room divider. I mean, we could have it just be open again. Um, there's nothing wrong with us completely opening it up. Um, and the couch will be in the corner like we were gonna have before. We could do that. Um, it's fake currency like turnips. Okay, how could you bring up turnips right now? <laughs> how could you bring that up? Um, <laughs> okay, sorry, I just, I, I spoiled like so many turnips on my Animal Crossing Island last night. It was really horrible. I time traveled without thinking and I killed them all and I cried. So how could you bring them up? <laughs> um, oh, here's the problem. I can't use this beautiful painting if I don't have the wall. Wherever will it go? If not the wall, then where? Um, PMR, thank you for the 11 month resub. We can put it in the bedroom, yeah, easy, but I liked having it in the living room. I feel like this is pretty, right? Size it down, maybe? I'd rather use the square one um, than size this one down. We can put that above the bed, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I think a half wall would be nice. I don't know, I kind of like it open now. <sighs> now that I've been thinking about it, I kind of, uh, I don't like that though. Put it back how it was. Thank you. Um, Okay. If I switch the living and dining room, where would the where would the TV go? There's not like a wall for it then. That's my concern is there not being a wall for the TV, which we kind of need for it to like work, you know. <laughs> um I'm thinking I love this minty color. But now, I'm thinking, I take the minty color in this version, and I put some armchairs under the win- mm. I put one armchair in the corner. <laughs> one armchair in the corner. Do TVs only go on walls? Well, no, no, what I mean is like, there's not a good like feature wall in this area to like focus the living room around, you know? Um, and I don't like it being by the front door cause I don't want it to block the door. Um, that's kind of my thought process, I think. Um. <laughs> Gianna, Rosewater, step up. Thank you for the subs. I should put the animal plant pot on the kitchen counter. That's a good idea. Actually, I might do that right now before I forget. Um, look at the kits. We have this new... Look at this little guy. Maybe I'll put it by the sink. Wait. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> I don't know what color I want to use. Um, honestly, I kind of like the one that it came with, the default one. It kind of works. Um, okay. I really like that plant though. Oh, I haven't saved it all. Not this whole time. Oh, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> that could have been bad. Is there gonna be no fireplace? No, we're not gonna have a fireplace in this one. I know there's a chimney, but if it makes you feel better, just pretend there was a fireplace and then they renovated it and they pulled the fireplace out, but they left the chimney because it was too expensive to remove. And, and if you think about it that way, maybe it'll make you feel better. Better enough to not yell at me about it in the Twitch chat. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the, the cabinets. Um, I feel like... Maybe I'll just have it on one wall. I don't know. Erin, Carmen, Gina, thank you for the subs. Um, 
That does make me feel better. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, I love that color scheme. That is pretty. These cabinets are from Parenthood. Parenthood's like my, one of my favorite packs, I think. Um, it's got some really good stuff in it. Um. I'm liking it. Oops. Had that in the wrong place. I want to get my curtains back. Is there a green swatch on the tile? Um, there's one that's darker, yeah, but I think I like this one. Um, I think, isn't it Strangerville? Oh shoot, you're right, sorry. My favorite pack for The Sims 4 is Strangerville. Shortly followed, um, quick, I mean quickly followed by, uh, <laughs> Parenthood. <sighs> my bad, I misspoke. <laughs> Maybe I should get rid of the chimney. I can put the chimney on the other side of the build if I wanted to. Oh my God, I was thinking, okay, hear me out. This is still a while away, so don't get your hopes up too much. But I was thinking it would be hilarious. Look, I live in Orlando, Florida, okay? I live very near to Disney. Picture this. I go to Batu in real life. We vlog it. <laughs> I've never been to see the Star Wars stuff at Disney. Um, so that could be funny. Also, someone asked, has a subscriber ever been banned? Oh, Bessie. Yes. <laughs> um, unfortunately, paying money does not um, prevent you from having to follow the rules. It's usually people that subscribe don't get banned because most of the time those people like don't break the rules. It's mostly like trolls that get banned. Um, but yeah, subs have been banned before. Um, because sometimes people break the rules. Oh no. Oh no. You have enough channel points, you can do the thing? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, what does that mean? Um, besties, we're having some problems with the windows. If there's a bed over it. Pineapple, Aaron, Carmen, thank you for the subs. Maybe the bed will hide it. Platform, and we could put it on a platform. Um, it's because I'm using a medium wall height door on a short wall height. Um, little rat guy with the two months who says, I am a rat who likes your content. Have a nice day. <laughs> and Cindy, they you the 35 months. <laughs> oh, the absolutely nothings. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Sim Groove Frost says, my time here is up. And then times himself out. <laughs> Can I do it? Yes. <laughs> oh wait, Christine did it first. No! <sighs> Simguru Frost uses points to get timed out. And I could have done it. I could have timed out Simguru Frost. But no, Christine had to come in and do it first. <laughs> you don't have enough? Oh, I'm sorry. I can time you out if you want, Becky. <laughs> you don't have to pay. It's okay. <laughs> Somebody tell Dan I'm timing out his mom. <laughs> Cindy, thank you for the 35 months, by the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna time out. I can't. I would never. Personally, I would never redeem a time yourself out point reward in anybody's stream because, um, well, I, I, I like attention too much. <laughs> I want to be able to type in chat. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if I- I want to use a dog door though. Should I put it in the bathroom? Okay, I want to pick a more fun tile. 
Does it work, the timing yourself out? Well, so here, if you didn't know how it works, when you time yourself out in my stream using points, right? Um, it's not like some magical automatic thing that happens. Um, you just tell us, hey, I want to be timed out. And then with the points, you redeem it and tell us, hey, I want to be timed out by redeeming the points. And then we're like, oh, okay. And then we time you out. <laughs> that's all. That's, that's just how it works. Um, it's nothing like super fancy or anything. Um, it doesn't like do it automatically. So it's just a regular old timeout, but you tell us you want it is the difference. I want to keep my record clean. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. I wouldn't want to be timed out even as a joke. I'm a real goody two shoes. I don't want to get in trouble even as a joke. <laughs> um... I think... Hey, Snap, what's up? Can you see her? Cat. <laughs> How long is it? It's 10 minutes. Timeout is 10 minutes. That's a standard timeout on Twitch. Um, and all that means is you can't type in chat for 10 minutes. Oh, it's agonizing. <laughs> you have to just sit here and watch us all have fun while you sit there unable to participate for 10 minutes. <laughs> Annie, chaos, thank you for the subs and bids too. Um, I think, can other streamers see if you've been timed out? No, 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 no. Um, you can't see, um, you can't see if you've, if you've been timed out. Do you mean like if a different streamer, can they see your record that you've been timed out in my stream? The answer is no. Um, they cannot see your record in other people's streams. Um, they also can't see that you've been banned. Um, the only thing that, that, the only way they would find out, which they wouldn't if it was like a joke timeout. Um, so for example, if you were like a real problem and you were harassing me, I might be like, hey, Rochella, Spring Sims, my besties, so-and-so is harassing me. You might want to ban them too, because they are a bad person. Look what they've done. <laughs> Like, they're, they're probably gonna come harass you as well at some point, you know? Um, but I would, like, tell them myself. Um, if I thought it was necessary. And sometimes, like, streamers talk, right? Especially if it's, like, a person who's doing a lot of bad things to a lot of simmers. Which a lot of people do, unfortunately. Um, I'd probably tell my friends about it, you know? Um, just like a, hey, heads up, this person was trolling me doing so-and-so today. Like, it was really bad. Was regular trolls don't get warnings from, from my friends, but like the really bad ones I might tell my friends about in advance. Just because like, they came here, they're probably going to go somewhere else next, <laughs> you know? Um, has it happened a lot before? What, with people like that? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but those are the kind of people that have been banned and will never be allowed back in the stream. So don't worry, it didn't happen to you. Um, don't worry about that. Um, you would know if that was you, because you would have done it on purpose. <laughs> um, like, picture like somebody doxes me and tries to post my address in chat. You know, um, someone tells me to die. Like, we're talking like extremes of the extremes. Um, people doing really bad things. Things that you would know if you did, so don't worry. <laughs> you- you would know. <laughs> um, the- the really bad ones are the ones that, uh, I would feel the need to warn my friends about in advance. Um. Okay. Sophie, thank you for the 10 gifted subs! Thank you so much. Um. Okay. 10 gifted subs. Um, Lulu, we don't really time people out for 10 minutes very often. Um, so whenever I see a person getting timed out for 10 minutes, I know it's a joke. People usually get like periodic 60 second timeouts. Um, like, cause most of the time we just go straight to ban with stuff. Um, cause most people that are gonna get, like, action taken on them, like, deserve to be banned. Um, so we'll oftentimes go straight to ban in those situations. Um, the ones that are, like, I don't know, they're spamming, like... Sometimes they'll be, like, spamming about their cat, right? 
Um, we're not going to ban them for that. It's just annoying. So they just get timed out for 60 seconds. Be told to stop. <laughs> you hope they stop. And if they don't stop, they might get timed out like five times for 60 seconds each time. The last time we're just like, you know what? You're timed out for the rest of the day. <laughs> you can't come back until tomorrow because you didn't listen. <laughs> um, so, so like that's most of the time. We don't really do like 10 minute timeouts though for the most part. Um, people usually get timed out for, for less time than that or just straight to banned. If you're gonna get a 10 minute timeout, like for the most part, I don't, I can't think of a thing that would be like a reason to time you out for 10 minutes. Um, but don't worry, it's not easy to get banned. It really takes effort. <laughs> As I think I just explained. <laughs> um, okay. And the timeout thing is, is mostly just for people that are doing things that are like spammy, but not like a bad thing, you know? It's like you're you're being kind of a nuisance by spamming about your cat, but you're not like gonna get banned for it, you know? <laughs> um, you're just copy and pasting the same message over and over again, and it's annoying, but it's not like the end of the world. Um, so. But again, depends what it is. You don't need to worry about it though. I know um, I too have anxiety and I too worry about being banned places that I enjoy. You're not gonna get banned from my stream. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it takes a lot of effort to get banned, I promise. <laughs> um, you, would, you would probably be trying to get banned on purpose, to be honest. Um, if you banned yourself? Well, you can't ban yourself. Even if you wanted to, you can't really do that. Um, I guess you could ask to be banned. If you so desired, um, you could say, hey mods, can I please be banned? And they'd probably take you up on it. <laughs> so, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, if I were you, I probably wouldn't request that. <laughs> um, Okay. I want to put a bathtub in here, but I don't know where to put it. Imagine requesting to get banned. People actually do that sometimes. Um, you'd be surprised the kind of things people do. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, the problem I'm having is that I really want this shower to be in the corner. Oh, maybe this could be okay. Oh, that might work. I feel like I've um, sort of helped split it up in the way that I want it to be. Took me a while <laughs> to figure out the layout, but maybe that works. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, coolest girl, happy birthday. Can I sing you a song? I have to turn the bathtub. I think this is the correct direction. I think it should be okay. Um. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the plant is from Dine Out. Yeah, the toilet is directly in front of the window. You know, it might not be the, the smartest thing I've done, but now nah, I've done it. <laughs> so. <laughs> The toilet is directly in front of the window. Am I gonna upload it? Yeah. Uh, I'll post this on YouTube, or on, on the gallery, I mean. I might post it on YouTube, I guess we'll see. I'm recording it, but I have loads of builds that I haven't posted on YouTube yet, so if I do, it might not be for a while. Um, but I am recording this, and I am gonna post it on the gallery when it's done. How do you know who the mods are? That is a good question. The mods are the people with the sword next to their name. So if you see any people yielding a sword in Twitch chat, that's gonna be the same across any Twitch stream, by the way. The people who are modded have a sword next to their name. It's a little green sword. Um, and every, every single Twitch stream you go to, the mods are the ones with swords. Obviously they're gonna have different mods, but <laughs> um, the sword means mod everywhere you go. 
Um, okay. Can you apply to be a mod? Oh, here's the thing. I'm not really looking for any new mods right now. In the past, I've done mod applications, um, but I think it's important to note that like, um, I, I don't really just mod anybody. Like I really like to mod people that I've known for a while and like sort of trust um, deeply. Not that I don't trust you, but it's like, I don't know, things like my address get posted in the mod chat because we need to know what to look out for. And like, um, my mods have a lot of personal information. <laughs> um, so it's not, I don't, I don't really want to mod just anybody just for the sake of um, my personal safety, <laughs> you know? Um, but I, I'm not looking for any new mods right just yet, uh, but maybe at some point in the future, I'll open mod applications again. Um, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Bingsy, Ravy, Reka, Trixie, Jenny, Brim, Annika, GMG, uh, and Rick, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, oh, this is pretty. That'll be good in here. Um, yeah, the wrench means Twitch staff. There you go. <laughs> That's a fun one. Um, it's not that I don't trust you, but I don't- I mean, look, you know what I mean though, right? Like, I- I don't know you. <laughs> um, I, I have to- I have to get to know you a little bit better first, you know? Um, no, we're not gonna do a poll for favorite mod, Piggy. Um, that seems like a really good way to hurt people's feelings. <laughs> um, I- I feel like that- would probably unintentionally be kind of mean. So we're probably not gonna do a poll like that. Yeah, the wrench is a cool one. I think you don't really get to see the, the Twitch staff wrench very often in chat. Um, but that, that wrench, the, it's like a black badge with a white wrench in the middle of it. Um, that means they work for Twitch. So that's kind of cool. Um, sometimes they pop in <laughs> from time, you know. Twitch staff do also watch streams, <laughs> so, um, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be around from time to time just because they work for Twitch doesn't mean they wanna, don't want to watch streams, um, but, um, oh, I meant to look in my inventory. I've got this little trash can, please. Um, I want my umbrellas. Nakoya, <laughs> thank you for the three months. You like the build so far? Thanks. I'm liking it too. I'm gonna put a frog in my kitchen. Do you like that idea? You better, because I've done it. <laughs> the frog is staying in the kitchen. <laughs> um, actually, you will be pleased to know, Dollskins, that we have a merch restock coming really soon along with a fresh drop of some really exciting new stuff. Let me see, maybe I'll taunt you a little bit. Wait. Anyway, the item that I'm holding- <laughs> The item that I'm holding right now is very cute. I didn't mean to show it that much. That was that was like legit an accident. I didn't mean to pull it up that much. But <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was a bit more of a, a leak than I thought. Dan and Phil, if you're watching, I'm sorry. My merch company's run by Dan and Phil, by the way. They don't know who I am. I just like to pretend that they do. It's funny if you meme about it, you know? I'm gonna get attacked. I'm- oh my god, they're gonna kill me. I leaked it. They're gonna kill me. What do I do? I'm gonna get punched in the face by Phil Lester. Help. <laughs> Help. You're fired! Oh no! <laughs> okay. I think, um... I think... Oops, oops, oops. I don't think that Phil Lester has ever punched anyone in the face. Who's with me? <laughs> okay, um, I wanna put a, 
He's probably done it by accident, maybe. <laughs> I never punched anybody. Have you punched anybody? Do you guys punch people? Because that doesn't seem nice. That's all I'm gonna say. Not even by accident? I don't know, I feel like punching is very deliberate. Like, it involves a fist. Um, I don't- I don't think it's easy to accidentally punch someone. Does that make sense? Oh, like punch buggy when you're a kid. Oh, yeah. There's this game where when you see, um, it's a Volkswagen Beetle, right? Um, you hit someone. So, as you can imagine, that makes perfect sense. Um, <laughs> You know, the game where you hit people in the car with you? <laughs> well, yeah, you're meant to do it playfully, right? But I, I've definitely been in the car with, like, friends. I guess they weren't really my friends if they were hitting me, but... I've been in the car with, like, people when I was younger that took that game way too seriously. Like, you you need to calm down with the, um... the aggression involved in your punch. This is too much. Um, so I feel like we probably all had that experience. If you ever got stuck playing that game. Um. <laughs> People also call it slug bug, right? You'd punch when you saw a yellow car. I don't think I like that game. <laughs> Great girl, Amy, probably 11, or probably Elvin and, and Avalo, thank you for the subs. I don't think I like that game. You know, I don't really want to be punched. <laughs> I don't, I don't think this, it was fun. I didn't like it then. I don't think I like it now. Don't invite me on your next road trip, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I've never played a yellow car game. We did- when we played those games when I was younger, it wasn't really like a, um, a punching sort of vibe. It was like, I'm in the car with my grandma, and we're counting how many slug bugs we see. And it, we were like, counting them, and not like, hitting each other after them, because I was playing with my grandma. And then my dad and I would like add extra extra rules. Like if you saw a cement truck, it was so many points. Like we started like adding extra things like that. Cause we used to be, um, we did really long road trips when I was younger. Cause so we would drive from Orlando to Chicago to visit my grandparents. Um, and so we would be in the car for a while and play games like that. Yeah, maybe don't hit your grandma. <laughs> That's probably good advice actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, counting cement trucks was your childhood. Yeah, see? I'm glad that we have the same experience. Um, I think I want the wall in here to be deeper. I kind of want to... Um, I actually really like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Upstairs. Oh no! The stupid doors! Usually it's fine, because I'll have like the wall to there. So you can't really tell. This time I've made a big mistake. Put everything on a platform. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards doing that right now. The problem is that if I do that, Oh, the stairs are just got a little bit longer, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind the stairs being taller. You can't see it anymore. I like it better. I tried to put the bed on top of it already. It looked kind of silly. It didn't really work how I wanted it to. Oh god. <laughs> don't look at the side of the house. That's horrible. 
That is horrible. Okay. So, currently, um, I'm gonna need a double bedroom in here. Um, I'm gonna make this into another double bedroom because, um, I need space for... Wait, what was that? That it deleted. Why did you delete that? That's mine. Um, so in my household, you'll see this sim who's at work is the new heir. Her boyfriend Harvey is gonna move in. They're not even dating yet, but eventually he'll move in. This is gonna be their bedroom. Um, I'm gonna probably add more to it, but I wanna like furnish the rest of the house before I spend any more money. Just to make sure the whole house gets furnished. Um, her sister, her twin sister also still lives here, but Rose is also a young adult, so she's gonna move out probably kind of soon. So we'll need to make a bedroom for Rose, but it doesn't need to be permanent. Um, and then the other problem is that, um, so we need a bedroom for the parents, bedroom for Rose, empty bedroom for future child. Um, and then I wanted to have an impressive office. And this is where the problem begins. Because I wanted a super cool gamer room in the basement, but I did not really leave good space for adding a basement is the problem. So I'm kind of thinking that perhaps in this area, you're gonna love this. This was my idea. We'd have to do a ladder um, and most shocking of all, A bookcase door. <laughs> Finally, you get your wish, chat. Here you go. I mean, it's not a bookcase door. It's just a bookshelf. Wait, why doesn't it come in white? Oh my, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I hate this one. Maybe I'll use that one. Nothing to see there. Nothing weird at all. Okay. History has been made on this day. November 16th is hereby bookcase door day. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Um, and the window is kind of into the bookcase door room, which is not the best. Um, it's not so good. It's no good, actually. It's not clipping, is it? Okay. Yeah, there's two types of bookcase doors in the base game as well. Um, I'm actually gonna freak out. I won't lie to you, besties. I'm, I'm about this close to screaming. Oh, never mind. That's not where it needs to be. Here. Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, that's better. They can go in from the side. Okay. There. It's the basement. Just about freaked out there, but I didn't, so. Is it the window? I don't think it's the window. I think it has to do with the, um, the weird exterior wall. Oh, jeez. Why did you delete my stuff? Sorry, I almost got upset, but I didn't. <laughs> Bridget, thank you for the pins. We could make the door lock so only Poppy can access it. That would be funny, honestly. Um, okay, I think what I wanna do down here though, and hear, hear me out. I want this to be like really ridiculous. Like keep in mind, she's a hacker, literally an evil hacker. So 
I want it to be, like, very futuristic. We can make it pink lighting. Oh my god, that's genius. Okay. I'm thinking very futuristic, though, like... Or, um... I don't know, I just want to have, like... We could do, like, concrete floors. We'll put some, like, LED pink wall lights. She can have her gamer mat. I might actually put that in a room off this room. That would be kind of funny, I think. Does it come in pink? Well, then it's useless! Should I get the more expensive one? Well, it doesn't come in pink either! What is the point of having these dumb things if they're not pink? <sighs> Hear me out, glow wall? Oh. Oh no. You aren't serious, are you? No, we could do something cool like this though. Look. Well, what if it wasn't- wait, what if we didn't do like... What if we did it like this? What if we- what if we made the pink cooler instead? Instead of trying to do, like, something- that's not dark enough. No. Honestly, that one kind of works. No, it's like one of the cheaper ones, but... Can I try black concrete floors? I mean, yeah, we could. But do you think that it needs to be more... We could do like black tile. I don't know. Um, I think I like the wood better though. This wall is from the mosquito stuff pack, isn't it? I'm thinking we'll do like an all black, um, I might actually use a dining table, so it'll be wider than a desk. Mm, that's not dark enough. Or that one's kind of good. It is kind of like the cube I built with Dr. Glue on. You're right about that. I'll take that as a compliment. Um... Isn't the room a little bit small? Well, what do you think I'm gonna put in here? <laughs> I don't need to put that much in here. It's it's um just an office. So. Yeah, this is a table, not a desk, but I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Um. No. That's not the right color. This is for the pots, Harry, not the bells. Um I, I play with the Potts on stream, so this is for the Potts family. The one you are used to seeing on Twitch. Um, okay, I want to get some wall lighting. Some kind of cool wall lighting. I also think I might put a- and this is a bit weird, okay? But I was thinking about putting a sliding glass door into my, um, gaming room. <laughs> I don't know. What if I made the gaming room, like, a gaming room? Why does it look different? Are you trying to upset me? <sighs> You've been making an all pink game room in Animal Crossing? Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm gonna put a gaming room in my house. I haven't done it yet, um, like in my Animal Crossing house, but uh, that's my plan is I want to- once you- because there's that like new gamer setup. I don't have it though, but I will. I will have it. And I'm gonna put it in my house. What do I do with these? I'm gonna make it pink is what I'm gonna do with it. You can't. 
They don't fit on the wall right. <laughs> Maybe it's okay if they're off-centered from the wall, because it's like this thingy's there. I don't know. Maybe I like it. They make these things. Gamers have them behind them all the time. I know people who have things like this. So, therefore it's real. I know all about gamer lights. <laughs> um, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I know all about gamer lights. Yeah, no, these lights came with, um, you can craft them from Eco Lifestyle. These are my gamer shelves, though. Maybe I can put some suspicious items, such as this octopus and this bag of cash. <laughs> you know, um, all sorts of suspicious things, like my Twitch money and my octopus. See? I actually quite like it. <laughs> um, okay, I think... Honestly, this kind of thing is actually quite cool in here. I feel like that could work. It is kind of a good stream background, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now what I'm thinking, lava lamp. See? I agree. <laughs> Makilla, thank you for the 20 months. And Vig and Jess and Peachy and AV and Bridget and Frenzy, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, the lava lamp, unfortunately, came with Strangerville. <laughs> um, so you might not have it. Um, that's what I mean by unfortunately. It, might, it came with Strangerville, so you might not have the lava lamp. Um, I really like the lava lamp. It's pretty good. Um, but I actually like that a lot together. Um... Is it a stream room or a party room? <laughs> Both. Um, I don't want to give her more monitors. I thought about it, besties. I know it's, like, realistic. Trust me, I'm sitting here in front of three. Um, but, because monitors don't actually serve, like, a functional purpose in The Sims, I kind of don't want to give her extra monitors. Because, what I mean, I'd just be, like, putting extra TVs behind her, basically. You know? Um, and we are kind of on a budget because of the legacy challenge. So I'm, I'm worried about, um, I'm worried about spending all of the, the money. So maybe we can go back and add to it like later on once we've unlocked some more money. Unlock some more money, earn some more money. You know what I mean. I like that. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Now, what do we do about this? Should I just get rid of the light and let it glow? This room's weird. It's kind of ugly. It's not really giving me evil hacker. Um, it's more giving me like gamer girl, which is okay. Cause like, aren't we all? But we did set out to build an evil hacker room, so. <laughs> Oh, uh, I do like it. The fact that she has this hidden behind a bookcase door is actually hilarious. Like, there's nothing in here that is a secret. There's literally nothing suspicious down here. And yet, 
that a baseball bat? Look, just in case, okay? You never know when you're gonna need that. To be fair, the vault's not a bad idea. The problem with the vault is that it's really expensive, right? 1500 Oh, it's only- well, I guess it's not that expensive. I don't know where to put it. I'm very unsure. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was checking my email. Um, that's why I was looking away. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I mean, like, we could do it like that, and I can put this cork board somewhere else, like in the hallway or something. But we could have a glow in the dark vault. Should I leave it empty so we can slowly fill it up? Or should I put, like, the. Wait, this one doesn't work like that, right? Like, you have to have the door. I might put it. I think we leave it empty so we can fill it up. That is hilarious. You come in and it's like super cute and cozy. Vault door. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I think empty's good. Square Online, thank you for the 10 months. I haven't been to the Cat Cafe in downtown Orlando. I've heard about it. Um, I've never been. You, you painted a mural on their wall? Really? That's so cool! Well, I've been meaning to go, so maybe I'll finally make it over there. Uh, but I've, I've not been. I've heard people say really good things about the Cat Cafe in downtown, but... I have never been myself. Um, unfortunately. From the vault, yeah. <laughs> From the vault, Taylor's version. Let me put the gaming mat in there for now, actually, because I have nowhere else to put it. Anything else useful? Oh my god, wait, 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 stop. We have to put this light in here. Look. Oh, jeez. It's perfect. Do I have anything fancy? I have a stolen ATM as well. I feel like that's necessary. Maybe a future cube? We got a couple good things. <laughs> We've got a couple good things we can place down. I'm gonna put this bike over here. The chickens? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> In the vault. Mm hmm. Personally, I, I can't think of anything better we could be doing in there. They will die though? Yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna be like alive again, right? If I put them in there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I should put a guitar in there on behalf of Taylor. That's a good idea. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm scared the chickens are gonna die if we have them in here. This is for Taylor. Maybe I'll put the chickens back in my backpack. There. For Taylor Swift. Can they steal a TV so we can have a Taylor's version in the vault? Fine, I'll put a TV in here too. But th at this point, we have to stop. <laughs> I'm wasting too much money. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. We've made a lot of good progress though. We still have to do the whole outside and all the bedrooms, but I think um, for now... I think another step that I want to take is to try and, um, I'm gonna paint that black. I want to try and fill up the, um, 
What if I put like two of these? Would that be better? Only one of them will work. But I want, let me see if you can go down there. Come here. I'm play testing. Oh yeah, she's fine. But that way it doesn't look so out of place. Like if there's two of them. It looks more intentional perhaps. I think that's part of the problem that I have with the bookcase doors is that I have a hard time trying to fit them into places because like they're so flat, you know, they always look a little bit out of place, but I feel like this helps the two kind of work. Take the wrong. Yeah, you open the wrong one and you fall down the stairs. Yeah, you better be careful because <laughs> otherwise you're going down the stairs. <laughs> Thought it'd be on Thursday. You lied to me. I'm sorry. I was gonna. I was gonna do it on Thursday, and then um, I was excited and did it today. To be fair, we're we're probably gonna have to finish it on Thursday. So, don't worry. <laughs> we're probably gonna have to finish it on Thursday. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight. Um, now we've got like a pretty good idea of what it's gonna look like, though. It's coming together. It'll get easier to finish faster. Um, why is Holly about to die? Holly's not gonna die. What do you mean? <laughs> She's fine. She's not even an elder yet. She's having a great time in my basement. Her bar was glowing. Oh no, she's gonna become an adult. Or she's gonna become an elder, I mean, sorry. She's not dead. She's only an adult. She's just gonna become an elder. Um. No, we have not played Mario Party today. We are still gonna play Mario Party later this week. You can blame The Sims for dropping a kit announcement today. I got really excited and I wanted to play The Sims. I was gonna play Mario Party, but then... <laughs> but then The Sims dropped a kit announcement, so... <laughs> um, here we are. Yeah, the kit they announced is the, um, they announced a, a men's fashion kit, basically. Let me pull up the thingy I can show you. Um, they announced a kit called the Modern Menswear Kit. I made a video about it, so if you want to watch it and hear my full thoughts. Um, looks pretty cool. They worked with a real designer, like a real brand, to make it, which is interesting. Um, it looks like it's got some fun stuff in it. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I really like this outfit. Um, and these things are real clothes as well. Like, I was looking through the, um, the Insta their Instagram, the designer's Instagram, and, like, I saw a person wearing this <laughs> in real life. Um, I showed it in the, the video though. No, it didn't leak. It wasn't a leak. They, they announced this one <laughs> successfully. Not leaked though, which is cool. Um, is that a first? <laughs> um, but I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I'm curious to see the rest of it. It'll be interesting. Um, but some skirts for masculine frame stamps. I'm glad to see it. Um, but I, I posted a video about it if you want to see more of it. And also they posted a blog post, um, that like just explains the designer and like the, the stuff like that. So, um, you can find more about it there. Um, yeah, the sweater, um, it <laughs> you think it looks like baked bread because of the cuts? Uh, yeah, I noticed a lot of the clothes have, um, like slits in them, the sweaters, in a few different ways. It's kind of interesting. Um, I actually think they look pretty cool. I want to see if I, let me pull up the thingy. We're not, we're not going to finish the, the build now because I'm talking about the kit, but, um, let me pull up the blog post. Um, but you can see like this one has like the holes cut in it too. It's kind of cool to have the cutouts. Like, I kind of like how it looks. This, there's one back in the way back that I think I like the best out of all of them. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's like way back there small. Um, but I'm curious about it. It looks interesting. So we'll see what happens. It's coming out December 2nd. So in like two weeks, um, it'll be out. Yeah, they, I think they did a good job staging the background of this. Um, they built like some, some houses. I assume they built like fake houses for it, which is actually quite fun. I bet they had fun doing this. Um, cause I, I too have built like fake houses for screenshots before. <laughs> um, and I, it's kind of fun to like do set design probably of stuff like this. Um, but anyway, what's this? The kit they announced today, uh, and B, it's coming out on December 2nd. That's your birthday? Hey! <laughs> um, 
but I don't know. I'm curious to see it. it. Looks like it'll be fun. It's always fun to get new stuff. Um, but yeah, they announced this one today. I feel like, um, this one is probably one of my most- I'm most intrigued by this fashion kit, I think, so far, out of the other fashion kits. Um, the- the gripe that I have with this is that we just had a kit. Like, a kit came out last week, on Tuesday! <laughs> like, we just had one! So recently! Um, and now we're already having another one. This is the last pack of the year, um, because they- they teased the kits that are coming out the rest of the year, um, it just feels like a lot of kits. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I'm curious to see more. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just wish- I wish it wasn't coming out so rapidly. Especially when there hasn't been any other content, like any other packs. If we had like a stuff pack or a game pack or an expansion pack, um, in between them, um, it would be easier. But just the like, kit, 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 kit we keep getting, um, I'm not super excited about, so. And maybe if there was some more gameplay kit, um, kits, yeah, like how- they've only done one, like the bust the dust thing was kind of gameplay themed. If they did some more gameplay, kind of like mix and matched in there, it might be easier to swallow, but I don't know. Saving me money at least because I'm not buying them? Well, there you go. Um, I do think that it's a fun way to keep people interested, like, if they really didn't plan on releasing any bigger packs the rest of the year. I'm glad they at least did release some things. Um, I think that helps. I just would rather that they were other bigger packs. Um, Hope, stop trolling! <laughs> Hope, this- you can't be trusted! <laughs> people are going to believe you! Um, but, anyway. <laughs> Hope! <laughs> what Hope said was, Did you all see the first pack of the year is gonna be a horse pack? Which is not true! She made it up because she's a horse girl. But you have to- you have to debunk these ho hose, ho Hope horse. <laughs> not hose. Hope horse rumors. You can't trust Hope. What did you just call me? <laughs> look. Look. Um. <laughs> um. Thank you, Hope. Uh, sorry, but you were a liar. So. <laughs> Gorgeous, thank you for the prime sub. Um, and designer May, thank you for the fits too. Um, <laughs> this is stupid. Little horsey. Right. You know? Anyway, I'm gonna be honest. Horses? I don't think we're ever getting horses in The Sims 4. I just don't see a world where that happens. Maybe I'm wrong. Because I said the same thing about toddlers years ago. And I was wrong. But at this point... We're not getting horses in The Sims 4. <laughs> I just can't see, like, I, I don't know. I They've done, at this point, like, two packs that they may have come in that they went a different direction with. Um, and I just don't see horses ever coming to The Sims 4. I just don't see how it would work either. Um, yeah. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I don't mind. Um... Yeah, could you- think about this for a second, yes. Imagine you're just somewhere, and then Eliza rolls up on a horse. You know how Sims ride bikes all the time? Could you imagine? You're just chilling at the restaurant. And Eliza rolls up on a horse, and comes in on the horse, because you know she would! She'd walk into the building on the horse. Like, I just- I don't need that. You're only selling it more. <laughs> okay, maybe it would be funny. But like, does Nancy Landgrab need the ability to be an equestrian? You know she would. I feel like Nancy Landgrab, she does like fancy sports, like golf. <laughs> Can we get golf please? Nancy literally on her high horse, yeah. Wait. 
I might have changed my mind about horses. Oh no. I feel like the only reason that I want horses is for them to work in ways that they wouldn't be intended to as well. I'm seeing a lot of troll potential for a video here. Hang on. I'm gonna make a video where I go through a PowerPoint presentation of all the reasons I want horses in The Sims, and they're gonna be really dumb ones. Like that. I'm gonna- oh! I have- I'm- my mind is spinning, I have a bunch of ideas. I need to make a PowerPoint. I will caption that for free! <laughs> the people need to know! <laughs> I just had to think of a lot of really dumb reasons to want horses and then make a, a video about it. I have seen girl process! Why must you make my life difficult? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, hear me out. New death. You can crush people by running them over. Do you know how, um, there, there, there probably still is this mod. I used to have this mod in my game that changed the trick with hand buzzer interaction to shock people so they died. Oh, it was so much fun. Loved the mod. Great fun. I just had a blast with that mod. So did the Sims I killed. They also had a blast. Um, but could you imagine if you could just run around crushing people on a horse? I don't think they'd ever do that. Unfortunately, I don't think they would allow for such blatant murder. <laughs> but... <laughs> Grandma got run over by a horse! No, you know the... <laughs> the movie in the song, Grandma got run over by a reindeer? Grandma got run over by a horse. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Anyway, I don't actually want horses in The Sims. I- that's probably like lowest on the priority list of things that I want in The Sims 4. I honestly do not want that at all. <laughs> oh my god, night night at the bar would be a whole new thing. Oh, I need to write that down. Yep. Yep. Okay, picture this. Instead of them all being in night costumes, they're in night costumes! But they're on a horse. Jousting? Oh my god, I have to write that down too. <laughs> I want a jousting pack. This is what I this is my wish for the Sims 4. I wish to be jousting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Ninja. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the 16 months. Oh, no. All the Sim Gurus are here. They're like, we need to damage control. Kayla's talking about horses. She's getting people ideas in people's heads. This is not good. <laughs> You're welcome for the ideas. Sim Guru Ninja, take her out? <gasps> Is that a threat? Oh no! The stream just ends. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay, but jousting though. Am I right? Am I right? Thank you for the bits. Oh no. <laughs> that horse girl trait. Anyway, I gotta stop. I gotta, gotta stop. My PowerPoint's coming though. The Sims 4 Game of Thrones. Uh huh. <laughs> Game of Thrones scares me. I've seen most of Game of Thrones, but not all of it. I stopped watching. I forget why. It's just long. But that show is a lot. It's violent and gory 
and graphic. The first episode is very graphic and involves incest. I mean, geez. So, <laughs> you've heard of Game of Thrones, but you haven't seen it. <laughs> There's jousting, um, but also, the show's a lot. It's a lot. Um... <laughs> Uh, Aaron, thank you for the 17 months! Anyway, don't watch it with your parents. <laughs> you missed part of the combo- oh, could you imagine you tune in to just me saying that part? I assume that kind of thing happens all the time. I- it's- it's sort of similar to how people tune into my stream and this is the first thing they see. Like, this is the impression that I'm leaving on people. You know, it's your first stream, you tune in, you're- Oh, Lil Simsy, that family-friendly simmer. She seems so nice. Oh. <laughs> this is your legacy. Challenge, get it? Can we get a graveyard tour? I don't even know who's in here. Who's this? Um, random lady that died at the bar. See, I didn't kill that one. I took her home. Because sometimes people die of old age in public. You know, it happens. Um, and I don't want to just leave her gravestone at the bar. So I brought her home. Put her in my front yard. Um, toast. Toast. Unreal. I have literally no clue who that is. I got- I have no idea what that is. Isn't Toast a- Wasn't Toast the cat that disappeared? Wait! No, 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 so, so, so what happened What? this is why I have this fake grave, is because I had a cat that was an elder, and I left the household, I, I went to go, um, she killed so many sims she can't remember. No, so I left the household to go and, um, age up, like, my brother's kid or something. And so I was gone for, like, an hour in game, you know, like, I was, it, very fast, just, like, age of the baby, fix it in cast. And then, I come back, and my cat's gone, and I, I look in my relationship panel and I can see the cat has a ghost in my relationship panel because it was dead. Somehow, Toast turned into a human and it gave me a grave. I don't know how this got here. That's why I put a fake grave, because I didn't have a grave. But it's possible that it added a grave for Toast on its own and I just didn't realize because it was right next to my pile of graves. Wait, maybe Booger is the one who died. Who died? No, it was Toast! Toast is the one who disappeared! It is! This is Toast! We got Toast back! This is the best day of my life! I'm so excited! Oh, I don't know why it's a human grave, though. That's really weird. <laughs> I like it. Toast came home! Anyway, Booger. The best Booger we ever picked. This was my dog. He's dead. Um, teapots I killed in the pond. Piper was my founder. She died in the pond. Random lady that died at the park. Austin died of old age. Martin. I think he was married to one of my sims at some point. Gerald. I killed him. Beans. Mm, this one was Santa. He, he lives here permanently now. Santa, he moved out the North Pole to come stay with me. Um. <laughs> No, he's fine. He just lives here. No, Martin is the one. Hang on. Martin? This story is a lot. So, in the generation that Martin died in, basically, I'll give you a brief rundown. Um, I was me, okay? My Sim had a husband. They were together for a little bit, they had twins, and then he and his husband ended up getting divorced because my sim was kind of mean, he was literally mean, he had the mean trait. And I was like, you know what, your husband Trent, he doesn't deserve this. 
me and Trent get divorced. Trent moves down the street. He lived, he lived right there in that house. Um, and then eventually, um, later on, my kids are kind of grown, they're teens. I start dating again. And I met this wonderful guy at the park. His name was Martin. He was really sweet. Um, I go into Cass to give him a makeover. And I, I open up Cass and I realize, oh, there's a child in his household. That's weird. I hover over the child. The child's got a different last name. And the child has the same last name as my ex-husband. Oh no. Okay. This is not good. So, I, I go into their house and I look at the family tree. He is not related to my ex-husband. Martin is not blood related to my ex-husband. However, the child is my ex-husband's little sister. Um, turns out that um, my ex-husband's mom had remarried later in life to Martin. When she was old, he was younger. So they had a kid together and then she died of old age and Martin was raising the daughter. So, what happened was, I dumped my ex-husband, broke his heart, and then went on to date his stepdad, his only living relatives, and then his stepdad and his sister moved in with me. Um, and then I killed him, the stepdad, who was my husband. <laughs> but that was not on purpose. I didn't know. Like, I just found a random guy at the park and I was like, he's cute. And he had a different last name than my husband, so I didn't realize that they were <sighs> related by marriage. Anyway, I dated my ex-husband's stepdad. Isn't that horrible? And then, you know, kill them. So. <laughs> Isn't that so funny, though? And then we raised the kid. Um, her name was Holly. Oh, the other weird part is that her name was Holly. And I also had a daughter named Holly already. And the game, like, named that girl Holly. Oh, here's the clip. Um, so we had, we had, like, two Sims named Holly. And now this Sim is also named Holly. She's the fourth Holly in our family. Um, because <laughs> we had, we had two Sims named Holly in our house at the time. Um, let's watch this clip, shall we? And then I'll probably get off stream. <laughs> uh, this is when I realized. Gibbs. Last name Ethington. Down in New oh, I've done something bad. <laughs> okay, he has a daughter, by the way. This kid, Holly Ethington, is my Sims ex-husband's Little sister. I saw her in the family tree. <laughs> different, different dads. What, Christine? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Why did I do that? I went and got with my, <laughs> my, of all the people to date, your ex-husband stepdad. Anyway, it was hilarious. You could see it in my eyes. When I looked at her name and I realized, I was like, oh no. Oh no. Anyway, we had loads of Sims named Holly at the time, so. Also, the fact that all of these popular clips recommending to me are from XQC. <laughs> Hairdresser confirms XQC is not balding. 60,000 views. Okay. Anyway, this is the clip of when I found out I was dating my, um, <laughs> ex-husband's stepdad. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, Choke, thank you for the 50-month resub, by the way. Um, Janice with the 13 months, Sandera with the bits, and hers with the prime sub. Thanks, everybody. Um, anyway. There was my small grave tour. There was my brief story. This is because we're on the eighth generation. So many ridiculous things have happened in this family, you know? Like that's kind of the funnest part of this. Um, 
is that we've been playing for so long that so many dumb things have happened here. Um, like, this Sim Carson is the one who dated the ex-husband's stepdad. And that was, like, four generations ago. Um, but anyway. 50 months, yeah, hello? Dating my ex-husband's stepdad, yeah, Cam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the problem? Do you not do that? <laughs> it will be fun, Robin. It'll be so fun. Like, when the challenge is over, we can do, like, a, a deep dive recap of each generation. I might even make a main channel video of it, because it would be kind of funny to do a deep dive, like, recapping each generation on the main channel. Because I feel like even if you haven't seen everything, when I'm like, oh, so in the first generation, I killed her when she was a young adult by accident, you know? Which is what happened. It was really terrible. The first couple generations of this family were a disaster. Basically, this is when I first realized you could kill Sims in the Piranha Pond. And I had her jump in, I was like, basically what was happening, and there's a funny clip of this too. On stream, I was talking about the Piranha Pond, and I was like, yeah, there's a pond in Get Famous that you can put sharks in, and it can actually kill you. Um, and here my chat's like, no way. Like, what are you talking about? No, it can't. And I was like, yeah, I've never seen the death, but apparently the pond can kill you. So I load in. I was like, listen, I've tried this many times. I've jumped in over and over again. Never died. I have my sim jump in one time. Dead. What? <laughs> so she died. First time. And then, later on, her son is then grown up, okay? The next heir is grown up, has kids of his own. I'm telling the story of the time that his mom jumped into the pond one time, dead. I go to show my chat how unlikely it is of that happening and how ridiculous it was that my sim died the first time I jump into the pond. And I'm like, watch, he won't die, see? I jump in, he dies too! So at that point, I had killed two generations of sims by accident by putting them in the pond. And then I just decided to keep doing it on purpose. And now here we are, Gen 8. <laughs> but the first two generations I killed by accident like that. <laughs> we started this legacy back in like April, I think. We've been playing it for a while now. Um, <laughs> but the beginning was just, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So that's part of why I've got so many graves. Um, cause I did that on purpose, I did it by accident, you know, um, it was a bit ridiculous. Can we get a pond jump for the row before you get off stream? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go raid somebody, but I think first things first. There's no way. There's no way. Don't worry. Oh, I got promoted. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it started to take too long. I was getting nervous. Ooh, my hands are sweating. Okay, no, but she's fine, see? If it had happened again just now, that would have been hilarious. Um, but it didn't, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, I want to go find somebody to raid. I can't be trusted. Um, are we killing her? No, I was just showing how unlikely it is she would die. And look, she didn't. I think the next thing I would like to do um, is I would like to... T um, what? No, sorry. On Thursday, we're going to finish the build. Tomorrow, we stream in the morning. We're playing Animal Crossing. Um, we stream in the morning on Wednesdays. So I will be here tomorrow morning. Um, but I want to go over to my friend Kayla. Um, you all know candidly Kayla. She's wonderful. She's a dear friend of mine. Um, and today is her one year stream anniversary. So I think this is a good time to go over and say hi, right? Um, what is she doing? Why does she have so many kids in her household? Is she okay? No, 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 no. Like, actually, is she okay? <laughs> what is happening in here? 
Oh no, okay, yeah. Um, we're going over there, please. <laughs> oh no. Um, Raquel, Jada, thank you for the subs. This is ridiculous. I can't wait to see what she's up to. Well, go tell Kayla I said hi. Um, and I'll catch you all tomorrow morning, okay? <laughs> she got like 20 kids. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I can't wait to watch her suffer. Okay, okay, I'll see you all tomorrow morning. All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody.